G'day citizens, welcome to the Infronters. I'm Execute. I'm actually joined by the boys in the void by all the gentlemen. Hey, how you doing, boys? Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> all right, so today we're doing our usual tier list show. This is usually done in January, but we've had a long time coming. So we're just going to kick it straight off over to the browser and we'll tell you what's going on. So here we go. All right, so we're basically in this uh, draw program that we all can share and draw at the same time. And we're going to go through every single ship and basically rate them. That's what this is. And we'll just talk about it as we go along. Um, any, any preference for first manufacturer? So I'm going to pick someone at random. Uh, Loken. Loken, what manufacturer are we doing first? Anvil. Anvil. That's my favorite. That one there. Yep, they're probably my favorite too. All right, down here. Uh, do you want to stop in the top left and we'll go down? Yeah. Or the most? Good. All right. Uh, tell us about Centurion. Since it's, I, I just picked you... I'm not I'm trying not to pick on you, but I am. Right. Centurion's the oh, so Centurion's a better ballista in my opinion because it has mm -hmm. four size four guns on it, and it has has infinite ammunition as a result. Basically, it's an it's a uh, ground to air defense system, and does pair very nicely with the ballista. Mm. But uh, yeah, it's built off the Atlas platform, so you know Atlas is basically the running chassis in it. It's a it's a series of eight wheel drive vehicles that is made by Anvil. Um, really quickly, I just realized we forgot. We're using a different system this year. We're using this tier list system. So S, A, B, C, D, F. So S being the best. I believe you were saying, Paul, give us a law reason, Paul. It was from Japan or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it, it, it's, it's based off the Japanese uh, grading system. Like in, I think it's an older Japanese grading system. I don't know if it's still used, mm. uh, but it eventually ended up into the fighting games that came yeah. from Japan. And so because those games like Street Fighter and that kind of stuff became so popular, um, people began to use them um, just your for normal ranking for things like uh anything related to video games so almost everyone knows mm. the s system but uh now you probably know the history behind it mm. um all right guys uh put your mark on it on the centurion um i need to change the size of my paintbrush just a little bit it's a bit big um i'm gonna go i'm gonna go c c for centurion be aware everyone's got to go around you and we're going to do things next to it so don't go too big Looking at you, Lemming. Whoa! Paul, that is a fat... <laughs> I enjoy my things fat. Right. Like me. Oh. Uh, here we go, here we go. Nice and small. Yeah. This, we haven't had a practice anyway. of this if you can't tell the audience. That's why this is... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> too thick. Yeah. Way too thick, they say. Yeah. Lemming is super thick. Mm-hmm. Extra. He's a, big, he's a big boy. <laughs> right. Oh, chunky. The Durion. The d d Denturion. That's fine. The d d Denturion. All right. I don't think there's anyone that's too drastic there. Is any? Is I, I think I, we can probably move on. I don't think there's anyone unless I, anyone wants to speak. To I. Him. I would ask Loken why he gave it a B. Yeah. Well, um. Because I think it's better than a ballista, which is a C. Okay. <laughs> In my mm. opinion. No. I give. What it, makes it better though? Um, I think it's got a better use case. Basically, okay, so you don't have to replace torpedoes on it for starters, which means it can stay in the field for longer. True. Um, and I just generally find its ability to saturate a location of fire. Right now, the game currently, the way it is, is a better alternative than trying to rely on a shaky missile lock. It's definitely got sustain more than anything else, doesn't it? Yeah, he's not wrong there. Uh, the reason that I... I gave it a D rather than a C, is because it because it doesn't it doesn't present a danger. <laughs> like it, well, it's not range fire. Like it's like it's sustained fire, not you know, one one torpedo is going to kill me. All right, onto the Spartan. Let me know your thoughts on the Spartan, everyone. Um, I think I think a lot of these vehicles we just haven't kind of. Yeah, I'm going to go that. E for execute. <laughs> There's no E. Isn't there an E? Oh, I swear there was an E. No. <laughs> no. Oh, shit. All right, yeah. uh, your alphabet, boy. It's either D or F. Yeah, I'm going to have to go D. All right, undo that. D. There we go. Right, uh, F. Uh, Mr. Paul. That's me. Yeah, go, Paul. I hate this thing. Cause What's it's, wrong with it's, it? It's supposed to be a troop transport, but it only carries like six people. It carries eight? eight. It carries eight, but it barely carries and carries carries two more than the Ursa, mm. and it's so freaking big you could see it from a mile away. 
Mm. Um, it, it's it's not it's it's too big and doesn't get you can't transport it in, in anything but a Hercules. Mm. So it just doesn't it, it's not very flexible for moving mm. people from point A to point B. I don't think okay. it has some Fair decent enough. firepower, but like like it it's it it we need something that's small and maneuverable, and mm. it, the Spartan just doesn't work that well. So, so you know, oh, oh, oh. I hear you, and you said you can see it from a mile away. And I feel like that's not a big deal in this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it, the problem is, is that it is you could because you could see it from so farther away and it has no real defenses. It's we're going to rely on a lot more protection mm. from other outside protection. Mm. The thing doesn't even have a turret on it. It, yes, does, it does, yeah. but it oh, only has yeah. size twos or size threes, I think. Mm. So it's like a pair of size two ballistics are standard on it. So, yeah, uh, so it's it's o- it's OK, but mm okay when you have options like i think you have size twos on the the uh the ursa too i mean those might be size ones but the ursa and the spartan are about the same speed and the ursa is a much smaller so it's just harder to hit when it's moving so 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 in its defense i don't think we have armor in the game yet so i think a lot of these vehicles we have not and this will be an ongoing thing we we just haven't seen their full potential yet so we'll have to kind of wait a bit all right ballista Uh, oh go ahead well before we go into ballista um, to counter Paul's uh, F for it being so big and having slightly le- le- more crew or uh, squad capacity than an Ursa, the advantage it has over an Ursa is its seats are arranged so you can have a fully armed, heavily, uh, with a heavy armour squad rather than um, the Ursa, which it can really, the seats will only yeah. really eventually be able to take someone in an undersuit. And that seat space made for a fully armoured squad is what gives it a B, in my opinion. It's the only vehicle we've got that actually is made with a thought of having a heavily armoured squad being transported at present. Yep. Again, we'll have to wait and see. Of course, time. All right, Ballista, let's go. Um... Um, okay, sees who are we waiting on? Mr. T. T as well. All right, so this, this one's probably looks like the middle of the road, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, um, it's not bad. Yep. Um, does anyone want to talk on it, or is there anything really to add? Because I think it's... Yeah, yeah. mostly covered it, really. Yeah, I think we yeah, covered it I the mean, other two. The, the only in defense of the ballista, I would say it's a, um, yeah, it, it is, the thing is, is right now it sucks because mm-hmm. it, you can't reload it. But in the future, you'll be able to reload it. And this thing, you can't see it. And I have had so much fun having f- having fellow players kite um, ships into the range of my ballista where like they couldn't dodge it. They, they got so close that they weren't able to dodge that missile when it fired and watching that thing explode and knowing that player had like four seconds to respond and being like, Oh no! <laughs> the, the, the the oh no, I'm dead. Moment yeah. was just it is will, just beautiful. It will ruin your day. There is no doubt yes. about that. So, but it's 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 kind of limited. So it's not like it's kind of middle of the road. You know, it's I'd say it's better than average because it's it is designed to one shot or it, it does, dang near one shot. It does show the need for a reloading vehicle of some description in mm-hmm. the future as well. So hopefully we get that down the road. All right, or uh, just the ability to load stuff on <laughs> because it's you just slap it on with um with the uh, you know tractor beams, but we just don't have that yet. So yep. All right, um, C8X. Um, give me your scores for that, please, gents. Um. I think I'm gonna have to go. Mm. Okay, uh, lemming in tomorrow. Sorry, my voice is breaking. Holy crap, it sounds terrible. Um, yeah, but, yeah, lemming in, uh, this, lemming in space. Your thoughts? As far as I'm aware, this is still the smallest ship that you can sit three people in. Yeah, yeah you're not wrong. Yes. So I, I think that's a pretty big win for it. This mm-hmm. is also probably one of the best starters in the game. You got cargo space, you got seating space, you've got weapons, yep. and you've got a pretty small profile. Like this is just a dang good ship for starters. Yeah, I I I, yeah. I, I, I struggle to give it an an A because there is a couple in front of it. But yeah, I, I don't disagree on that. Lemming, uh, your thoughts? Just because you're high up there. Um. 
This is the tiny king um, for this, me. The tiny king. All right, I think that one's going to stick. Right. Uh, uh, the the okay, MPUV please. would like to have a word. But, uh, <laughs> you take that back, Lenny. You yeah. take that back. Yeah. Um, Paul, since you, you've you just kind of given it middle of the road, so what, why is it so mirth to you? Uh, it was the, the one of the best little starters until the um, um, the cutter came out. Mm. I think the cutter is better in every way from the mm. A C eight X. C eight X is if you look at it as a uh, ship, a snub ship for the Carrick, it's amazing. The second best snub ship for the Carrick. But if you look at it as a starter ship, it is a middle of the road. It's slightly better than the Aurora. Is what I, I'd give it as. So that's why I could say it's middle of the road. It's not bad. It's not great. It's just it's good for what you got. I wouldn't yeah. suggest it. Mm. So, yeah, I don't think they could make this better. Okay. No, I think if they made this better, it would tread too much on the 100i. Exactly, and it's fine. It's fine where it is because it's supposed to be. It's not really supposed to be a starter ship. It's just a, kind of an accidental starter ship. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's Fair. a it's a snub ship, and yeah. as a snub ship, it is an A. But as a starter ship, yeah, it's not as good. So, um, I love it as starter. While we're talking, uh, can we also put our scores on not the R, but the Pisces, because that is adjacent. So I think we'll do those two at the same time, if that's okay. So Because I, I find this pretty much the same score, personally. Because you're only talking two extra guns, yeah? Two size ones. There's no real... And, and a, a skin job, that's it. So... Oh, Paul says it goes lower by a whole point. Right. Is yeah, it really yeah, that drastic, Paul, or...? Uh, it, the guns uh, is what matters. It just it's it makes it it makes it like the four guns makes it okay mm. uh, for combat. The two guns makes it pointless. I thought you were so. just essentially giving it that score because to, to to let CIG know that it was pointless because that's I, I don't think it should have ever been released personally. I think no, it's, I agree. It's I agree. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's 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 confusing and and mm. like it it's fine as a snub ship, but it's kind of like the difference between the um, the Merlin and the Archimedes. Like the Archimedes is just straight up better. Because you don't have to reload it. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Um. Anyone else want to speak to that, or can we go straight on to the R? All right. Let's move on to the R. Yep. All right. R away, please. Um. I'm gonna do the same thing. I think. I don't think there's much difference for me. Um. I do think this thing's got. How do I put this? And and someone can. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. We've actually got S in front of A, don't we? Shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm. Yeah. I just realized what my mistake is here. Right. I, I've got to keep remembering the S tier. <laughs> um. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna change mine to to, to A, like like tomato. Okay. Not, not copying tomato, but I'm copying tomato. Um. <laughs> who haven't we heard from? Uh, Mr. Loken. Loken, please uh, tell us your thoughts on the. Whoever thought to take the smallest little, very highly capable, maneuverable snub nose and shove an entire medical facility into the back of it was a genius. This thing is the absolute savior of any small team mm. who's going out running bunkers, etc., etc. And the amount of times my proverbial behind has been saved by one of these, this thing is S tier. It's mm. so good. And it'll fit in every anything as well. So it'll yeah. be a useful can, accompaniment for any large ship. You can fit it into a into a, a Corsair. That's how 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 versatile it is. A Corsair can fit one of these things in it. Did anyone so, hear oh. him say the revolutionary line? He went to say Carrick. I was about to go, yeah, what a revolution. It can fit. <laughs> yeah. It's in a Carrick? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a C's, the C's, a C's explorations. Yeah. No, I I can hear um badges from here going on about it because it's one of Badger's favorites as well. So Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, it, it no, definitely really good for bunker runs and the state of the game right now. Absolutely. All right, we've it even it does kind of go over the uh, cutlass red, doesn't it? Yeah. So this this image, I have to. I'm just going to talk about this whole image real quickly. Uh, we this provided us by Grim Star Jump, so they were kind enough to get this to me really quickly, and they've already got the Mark II Hornet in it. That's how fresh off the presses this image is. They haven't even got it up on their own stuff yet, so we have to. I have to kind of go out of our way to thank them. But have any of you actually had a chance to be in the the new ship? Yes. As, as we record yes, this, was it, what 24 hours it's been out, so not very long. It's been out oh, yeah. 24 hours. Yeah. yeah yeah so it's um it's it is an upgrade essentially i, I think we can all agree on that yeah um yeah. so wherever the old hornet soot this one fits somewhere else um i don't know how they've managed to basically take a retro look yet make it make really look very modern at the same time but they pulled it off uh in my book yeah. um yeah i'm enjoying it and i reckon they're gonna sell a shitload um i don't know how to rate it other than rate it as the old hornet um but a little bit better, um, unless you guys think different. But uh, yeah, tell me your thoughts. 
I've not even got to see it yet in game. It, it, uh, Paul, I'm sure any of us would stream it for you, but um, eh. it looks very nice though. It's visually very good. You actually have access to it, probably. Yeah, you would. Yeah, 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 I do. I just haven't gotten to. Yeah, yeah. Spawn it. He's had other real life issues, I'm sure. Yeah. So if this is, if this is a uh, basically like the Super Hornet, right? Mm -hmm. I hear it's better than. Uh, yeah, it's effectively the Super Hornet. It's a yeah. little bit better. Yeah. Effectively, yeah, it's a Super Hornet. Um. That, well, that said, actually, this is the cargo variant because it's not the yeah. it's not the A. So actually, I'm gonna rate, yeah, I'm gonna rate this down to B because it because the one below this that I've just realized, which is the F seven A, that's the one that's got all the guns. Um, this has only got two size threes, uh, so it's not as good in my book. Um, so, but it is also the only fighter that has cargo. This is true. Oh, oh, and you can actually hitch a ride in it if you lie down, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Arguably, arguably, you can still do cargo in a um, in an Avenger. An Avenger is technically a fighter. Technically. So, so, so technically, Paul, this is like your favorite smuggling vehicle now? Is that what you mean? Well, no, the three twenty, the three fifteen is my favorite smuggling yeah, vehicle. Yeah, this yeah. one is, but this one, all right. If we're gonna get into the technical, it mm. could be a very good smuggler mm. because no one's gonna think you're smuggling in a freaking Hornet. Yeah. Well, well, well I think that's <laughs> gonna... so. The discussions I've had with people about this ship is it's just really cool. It's this holdover from the older days where ships had kind of more versatility, and I want to see yeah. little tiny things like this readded back into other ships. Like you know, you they're giving up their entire ball turret to carry SC2 mm -hmm. cargo because it gives that versatility and extends the shelf life, so to speak, of ships. And it just, you know, I'm in a pinch. I just need to SCU. I don't want to have to spawn a whole nother ship or buy a whole nother ship just to carry these tiny pieces of cargo. Um, I, I like things to have versatility. So I don't know. I like that. And yeah. I, want, I want it across the board. So, yeah. Um, does anyone want to speak on it or can we move on to the next one? We can move on. All right. Um, I think we'll have to do the rest of the Hornets all the way down the page, um, and then we'll kick back across to the Liberator. So let's go to Mark II Hornet. I think this for me goes up a, a tier, so to speak. Um, oh, S tier. Oh, okay, Logan, he's coming in strong. Oh yeah. I... All right. All right. Well, let's let's hear your thoughts, Logan. Uh, please. Um. Well, it's just okay. So. I already liked the F7A, um, sorry, the F7C mm. Super Hornet idea. Base, okay, let me let me get my thoughts straight. It's a fully fat, full military spec fighter. We don't got those before. We've mm. had all of this demilitarized civilian spec gear. Even things mm. like the Scorpius and this, the F8 Lightnings are still the civilian spec. Mm -hmm. This is the full Cinderella. This True. is the the, this and and it takes everything I already like about the Hornet. It, it's it just brings that Mark II design language in, which mm. is just very very gorgeous and mm. just sexy as far as I'm concerned. Mm. Um, and if it finds anything like the one I flew last night, um, mm. yeah, it's gonna be an absolute. Mm. It's gonna be a nightmare to fight against. And I really enjoy the way it flies and handles, and it's a nice. Mm. It's a good size. I just I love it. I really do. I'm really into it. Having heard I, I'm that, I'm going to back. Hang real quick. I, Having heard that, I now have to ask CIG: Can we get a glass um, slipper skin for that just for Loken? Because I can't visualize <laughs> a glass <laughs> F7A Hornet now. It's the way you said sit it's, it's, in the rail. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead, Paul. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, uh, like I'm just gonna add like the the F7A if if it's anything like the uh, Mark the Mark II C mm. if the the A the A2 A Mark II is um it it actually puts puts beef behind or puts mm. solid backing behind the lore of the Hornet being the best fighter that humans have ever made yeah the best space fighter humans have ever made uh, yeah I believe it I believe mm. the hype after after flying the F7 C yeah. Mark yeah. II yeah yeah with the, with the, the F8 being mm. better than that it's like with more guns it's like yeah yeah, yeah no um it's gonna destroy everything yeah. so knowing yeah. knowing Agrid like I do I know what he's about to say but Agrid you gave us the lowest score so uh why so mate Fighter. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fighter. Yeah, fighter. So it's it, it, yeah. he's not wrong. It's fifty dollars essentially for upgrade from the F seven C to this. Um mm -hmm. and it really it's not worth fifty dollars. It's almost like one of oh. those skin loadout type things, yeah. The F seven C Mark II was a fifty dollar upgrade from an F seven C. Yeah. 
So the F7C was $175 rather than $125. Mm. That was an insane markup. F7A is even more expensive. So yeah, uh, uh, Actually, F7... it, it'll be a free upgrade from the C, but I think that's included in the price for the, that $50 yeah. upgrade. I think, it, I think they've kind of like accumulated them together. All right. Um, I do. I don't know. This is a really quick group question, right? We've got the tracker. We've got the 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 ghost and, and the super hornet. Do you guys think eventually we're going to get Mark II versions of those? I'd hope so. I think yeah. uh, you know. absolutely. Because if you look at the CCU thing, all of them got changed to Mark One. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. So I think we've got those to look forward over the what twelve months? Would you say? Or oh, this yeah. year? Anyway. Um. If also, not this year, oh dear. well, it could be at Invictus because they did say that they had three different variants mm, uh, of true. the ship r r at, for the monthly reports. So yep. that, <laughs> that yep. with with this with the F two F F seven A or mm. an F seven C two, that makes a lot of sense. That these mm. would be the Invictus things. Oh, the, good yeah. lord, that's so. Many. So yeah, the so, Hornet so, tracker, the yeah. the uh, the the. Uh, Super Hornet and the Ghost. Those yep. are the ones would be He's, three. Those would be three. I, I, I wouldn't, and I don't think the Super, the Super Hornet's going to be far behind that either. That, that's the one I'd be jumping on, right? If I if I if I had to jump on one, it's going to be the Super Hornet. All right, let's go into the tracker though. Um, I think this thing is, is going to be amazing ghost. once it's once it's in. But I, I just uh, yeah. It, it, at the moment, it's pretty much the same thing for me, so I'm just going to give it a bit. I'm probably going to yeah, drop I it. I had to prefix that all of the specialist versions mm. uh, I am rating on their current incarnation in game, not what yeah. they will do in the future. Yeah, I can only rate what I've got a hold of. Yeah, it's really hard to predict, isn't it? it, it you mm, know, yeah. So just do you do, do how you feel, and, and 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 feel free to say I'm rating this on the future, I'm rating this on the past, whatever you want. It, it's all individual. So yeah. Oh, Mr. Lemming. Holy shit. All right, man. What, why is it such a failure? Uh, please, please explain. Um, a, it's a fighter. B, it's not a good fighter. Mm. Um, it's it's a skinning ship mm -hmm. that you can't log out in. That it doesn't have a bed. It, 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 it's, it's awful. He does kind of have a point there. Like, you could go in a Terrapin, I guess, and, and be more effective. But, but the advantage... This is the sweet... We're noticing this across the board. You're getting these gradients, right? So you're essentially mm. giving up. You're getting more combat ability, but not as much scan ability. So it allows you to, you know, the other thing is that it can fit on a carrier. You can't, you know, you're going to take up more space with a Terrapin on a carrier. So you, you can see it really quickly. Yeah. Like, there's no perfect shape. Argu Arguably, it's about the same. Yeah. The, the problem, the thing the thing is, is the fighter, the, the Hornet tracker can carry more guns. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is that it, right now, currently, it has no point. It doesn't. It's 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 a one once in future ship, you know. <laughs> I I almost wonder to like um knowing how it is. It's gonna have to have some kind of data storage at some point too. So I almost wonder if it will also lead a little bit into data running and stuff because of the um the nature of those ships. You know, like they have to have computers and stuff on board. Like, can you actively take a terrapin and do a bit of data running? Do you know what I mean? Um, we'll have to wait and see. Um, again, once once more of those features come online. All right. Oh god, you guys all jumped ahead. Right. Uh, Wildfire well, Hornet. It, I, I I could almost com simple. I could almost completely skip this to be honest. Um, it, it is just not worth it for the money. Um, because of the skins. It, it's a it's a yep. skin. Um, it's a skin with with a weapons pack, and the yeah. weapons pack isn't that good. Yeah. And the weapons pack, you can get every weapon and, and component in game. In game. Yeah. yeah. It's that point. It's a point. It's a yeah. neat, neat skin, but it's it's a expensive for a skin. Yeah. Uh, Hornet's the same thing when the other bit variants exist. Um, that said, you can technically buy this and upgrade into the other variants too. So I guess it's it's your value pick. Would we say that? Eh, I would say it's still an F because, like, pretty much it there's there's, it, there's no point of it existing when you have the Mark II, other than aesthetics. Mm. So this is true. Well, that that's the other thing, Agrid. We can speak to that now too. The um the it's actually worse. The that rare upgrade is now making it into a Mark One Seven A. So mm. they've almost really mm. devalued the shit out of that thing. Um, it's just going to be this like museum piece, essentially, um, that you'll be able to earn in game anyway. So they've taken a four hundred dollar upgrade and, and just nipped it in well, the butt. Well, so. twenty dollar upgrade. As in, just, well, as you long, can argue killing it on the gray market. Yeah, yeah. So I meant forty eight hours ago it, they were selling for for four hundred dollars, and they're definitely not worth that anymore. Yeah. Uh, Super Hornet, Heart Seeker, and Normal Super Hornet. So you can rate the. I'm just going to rate these the same. Uh, it's just a texture for me. So um, 
I think the Super Hornet is don't... kind of where it's at, actually. So I'm going to kind of give it an A. Ooh. I think I think once it, once it gets its Mark II upgrade, uh, it'll be good. But right now, it's it's kind of low because uh, the Super Hornet currently just doesn't have the same kind of beat stick that the Mark II mm-hmm. has. Um, because like you can do pretty much if you can take all the components of the Super Hornet and put it onto the Mark II, and it turns it into a Super Hornet. Yeah, when it's a Mark, sorry, I just realized my A is for a Mark II, and there's no Mark II on this screen. Um, I, yeah, yeah, I, I think when you can just have a second person in there as a choice, I just think that's oh, it, so it strong. It yeah, yeah, it's just it's like yeah. you can essentially take them out, and it's a non-super hornet, so to speak, and then you put them in, and it just gives you versatility, and you know the ability to shoot backwards and things like that. It just yeah puts it on it another level. It, yeah, it, it it gives it the ability to turn it into either a Scorpius or a mm-hmm. Hurricane, which is great. But uh, when the when the Mark II version of this comes out, yeah, it'll it'll be the the best ship, best Hornet on the line, mm. next to the A. So yeah, so I'm hearing I think it's a kind of craft. Yeah. So why 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 is the Ghost so good at the moment? I'm hearing from lots of people. This thing's like a god it's at broken. the moment. Is it just it's, it's, broken. Broken. it's just broken? <laughs> right. Okay. It's it, it has acceleration. Its acceleration is absolutely broken. Right. So it can go incredibly fast in terms of G's, and you can't catch it. You can't detect it until it's like. 50 meters away from you mm. it is it is super hard to, to see it's, it's the only actual like broken. stealth ship that actually is doing stealth right now yeah uh, okay because i don't think it would you could, i almost think it would go slower because it's doing stealth but okay yeah sure no it can go super fast uh but because of how we reliant we are on on like detecting it mm. you can get a, a a ghost can get into a group of other ships and dumb fire its missiles mm. into you without you even knowing it's there mm. because it has to, if it locks on, then it, it, it will tell you you're there. But if you dumb fire it, you can hit people. Mm. I've been dumb fired, dumb fired, snuck up by the, by the ghost multiple times. Mm. It can kill. It, it almost killed my uh, Corsair. Uh, all right. Uh, with, I, full, with a full load. All right, I so, need to make an executive decision here because Paul's got to go off to do, um, I know people are going to get mad because I'm going to shorten this, right? We've still got an hour and 10 minutes, but Paul has to go and do captain's table in an hour and 10 yeah, we'll minutes. Yeah, we'll be, we can be quick. We have I'm, literally I'm gone... We're talking. We've literally yeah. gone halfway through one manufacturer. We now have to go through every manufacturer. So I am going to be uh, picking this up with speed quite drastically. That's fine. Sorry. No, 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 no nobody's fault. It's just that I, I, I don't want you to miss your show and, and other commitments. Yeah, yeah. All right. So Liberator. Um, tech school mm. Liberator. Uh... I'm going to go D. Um, the ship shipping ship, I think this is going to essentially come around on the... This is going to be the thing that transports things between the jump points. That's what I feel the ship will end up doing in the end. It's too versatile. Uh, does anyone want to talk about how great it is? Uh, so Lemming, Space, or Loken? Oh, when I first saw the ship, I was like, pass. Um, the more I looked into it, the more I really like it. Yep. I think it's going to be. Versatility. Sorry, go on. No, you go. I was just going to say, I've warmed up to its versatility. I don't necessarily like its aesthetics, but I, va- I value what it can do yep. or what it will be able to do. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not in game. And I feel like my scores for things that aren't in game are probably a little bit more bloated because they're based on the idea of what the ship is supposed to do. We don't know mm-hmm. how, long, how well it's going to actually do it. Um, but transporting ships could be very lucrative in this game. You know, it depends on really how hardcore they go on people not being able to spawn things or move things easily. But like mm. when it comes to getting things delivered, this might be the ship that allows people to do it if that ends up becoming some sort of a mission. You know, we don't we don't really know what they're gonna do there. But I do think this is a unique ship. They might introduce something else that does the job just as well. Mm. Um, but for the size, it's got a lot of capability that I think sets it apart from basically anything else in the game. Mm. Both Carracks. Um, uh, Paul, uh, Agrid, why, why, why life Carrick? Because it is the penultimate explorer for Deep Space. I think mine's locked down by one because I'm not sure on that yet. I, I think the Odyssey's going to be a sleeper. Let's just put it that way. Uh, see what happens. And so many people own this band. It's a loud thing. sleep. Yep. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah. It is a very well. We'll see. We'll see. We we don't know enough. Like that's what I mean. There's just so many unknowns in this game, right? Uh, Crucible. 
while we're, while we're at it as well. I am picking this up with speed. We're going to pick up drastic speed now, boys. So I do apologize in advance. Um, yeah, I think uh, I struggle with S or A. Um, it's S. Yeah. That's the only thing it can do. Oh, uh, that's true. It's the only that's thing that can really do repair. That's true. Um, and, and, and I said that in the past, and someone will change it. Yeah. It'll change, but you know, and, for right and, now, yeah. yeah, and it, it's the old matrix that's going to grow, so you get a, a good value. I can hear Agrid already yell at me for not saying that. So yeah, uh, we'll do the got everything. yeah, yeah, terrapin, including bronze, terrapin, terrapin, terrapin. Uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, you yeah, go and tell me anything otherwise. I'll go B. All right, the turtle is S, baby. All right, tell us, tell us, tell us, Mister Mister T. It's the turtle. Okay, it's a turtle. That's all you need to know. Ninja turtle. Yeah, right. that's it. Right. Ninja. Ninja. Yeah, that's, you're good. You're informed. So, yeah. so I have a spicy take here. Mm -hmm. It's a bad starter. It's a bad well, Yeah, too. Technically, it's a profession. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> it's a profession starter. It is yeah. overpriced, though. I will give him that. It is very overpriced. Um, it is. Just trying to figure out where to go next. We'll go uh, Liberators. Both Liberators next. Um, yeah, the, yeah, the Fuckery. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to drop that to C. For me, um, well, one's just uh, technically just a skin, and I really hate that it's, it's called literally just a skin. I hate the fact that yeah. it's called Liberator. Um, yeah, and there's a literal Liberator in the same family. I think that's terrible. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a dropship. Anyway, all right, we'll move on from that. Uh, Legionnaire, also a dropship. Um, yeah, I'm kind of with that. Yeah, we, we're kind of waiting on the functionality of the, the data hacking here, I think, on this. Yeah. Mm. And better docking. Yeah, that's true. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. Lightning, God, how much has this fallen since the Hornet came out yesterday? I'm, I'm kind of intrigued. Um, mm. S tier, really? All right, shut me down. Why is it S tier, Lemming? It was Lemming there. Yeah. Um, yes. Because of the amount of small guns that it has, I, I suspect that it will be able to keep down shields mm. uh, much better than its competitors. Mm. And we also don't have armor in yet. I'm going to struggle with this and hurricane. The great fighters. Yeah. I really love the hurricane, but it just doesn't look very good. I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to go. <laughs> It, it's just such a fun ship to get in. Like, if you if you get in there with a mate, I don't think there's anything else in the game right now that you get that really camaraderie perfectly like it does. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, anyone else want to speak on the hurricane, or we move on to the hawk? All right, moving on to the hawk. I like it. No, nope. all right, hawk. Uh, who's who's what scores we got here? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably say it's about a B. It is fun solo. I, I can say that. And it, it's weird because it does, it, like, it's a little jack of all trades, a uh, bit of, bit of, you know, a bit of guns, a bit of uh, bounty hunting. Uh, it's got an EMP. You don't see it on too many ships. Um, yeah. If anyone wants to add anything on the Hawk. Nope. Oh, shit. Right there, Smash? He's <laughs> just getting really excited. Whoa. <laughs> um, Quick. Yeah, I think this the moving on the gladiator. I think this is a bit of a clunker, but there's something about S tier. Paul, all right, come on, shut me down. Why the hell S tier? Because I, I even I struggle with so, S tier. Okay, so the reason why it's an S tier is mm -hmm. because it's the best ship that's it's the best ship that CIG forgot. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> it's technically true. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is. It is. It, so it is original planned. It's completely modular. So mm -hmm. that that system that you have for that's a torpedo bay can be a medical bed. It can be a mm -hmm. um, torpedo. It can be other missile racks if you need to. Yeah. It, it is a modular upgrade. So it, it becomes a good tool. Mm -hmm. It's a bomber. And the, the amount of the amount of times the community has been screaming to mm -hmm. give it bombs so it can become an, a ground mm -hmm. attack ship is 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 yeah. means that CIG is probably heard and probably will fix it when they get to that point. Can they um, fix the aesthetics whilst they're at it? And if we it's, believe it's perfect. Perfect. it looks it looks it's beautiful. Ugly yeah. as sin. But that's what's that's I'm its a great appeal. Fan. That's, that's its appeal, man. man. It, it, it like it, it visual there is nothing else that flies like it in the entire game. And I think it's it like, looks what, like a rejected design for the frickin' F7. I've got to be honest with you. It does. It's an old it's design. <laughs> yeah. It's, like like just just really quickly, it's fundamentally like going between the hurricane and the lightning, they're both heavy fighters by anvil, but it shows you mm. the sp how many games do you have where you have one manufacturer, let alone manufacturers at all, and then they they have their own different style over time. 
We are spoiled in this game. We are literally spoiled. There is no other way to put it. All right. Um, I keep think I keep throwing the gladiator money. also in law uh, yes. with the lost squad was actually a support squadron, mm. and in the fall of was it. In uh, the form of Orion, I think it was. Yeah, they were actually responsible for helping evacuate people. All right, cool. All right, right. I've got it. I've got it. Etc. We're going to move yeah, on. Yeah. Arrow. Sorry, we spent way too long. Arrow, please. Oh, last thing I'll say with the Gladiator, it 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 has the best. It's the ship that has the best uh, lore. Period. It has great lore, and mm. it says you forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll have to you'll have to clue me up at some point, mate, because uh, I, 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 I need to learn to love it. Mm. Um, Paul, do you want to pick the next macro manufacturer, please? Uh, okay. I, I mean, the arrow was A because A. Oh, she was doing uh, Drake. Let's... Drake, yeah, yeah. Of course, we can do Drake. Right. All right. It's my favorite manufacturer. Both caterpillars. Oh god, I'm gonna have to put it. They're the same one. Yep. It doesn't, just it doesn't matter. Yeah, there you go. Look, bang, done. Same one. Um, I think everyone. <laughs> Sorry, let me... Yeah, I, I don't know. Let's say anyone. Yeah, uh, everyone's kind of ANS, so it's it's pretty high, and I'm going to assume everyone's because it's modular. Is it's that, just good. Yeah, modular. It's, modular. It, so, it, it's 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 got a lot of space, you know. So if it loses its modularity, what does that do to everybody? It yeah. goes down to a B to me. Yeah. I, I yeah. Again, we've got a history. We've got a history versus um future problem with it. Yeah, it's definitely gonna. If it loses stuff, it, it's gonna drop in score. But um, it's similar to the galaxy, is it not? That's how I see it, anyway. Um, you know, and if the way they've gone with the galaxy, I think it's gonna be similar, similar. But yeah, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Um, all right, you guys gone straight on the cutlasses. Why not? Right, uh, steel. the steel. Uh, that's an F. Yeah, I don't even have to think about that one. <laughs> do, <laughs> it, 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 yeah. It's an it's an S for style. It is the most Drake ship that has ever draked. But it is an F because it's terrible for its price. <laughs> In a game where death is supposed to mean something, I do yeah. not understand this ship. It's definitely a flying coffin. I'll give you that. Um, all right, Cutlass Blue. Someone want to talk about the Cutlass Blue? I I think this is going to get a re renaissance with bounty hunting coming in later this year, oh, yeah. unless unless you guys think different. But um... uh, it's really good now for for stopping people. Yep. Um. Uh, uh, yep. Uh, watching zero in the blue is a thing of mastery. Hmm. It's zero. He does it for a living. <laughs> he's he's he's, he's an outlier. Like, <laughs> it's like it's like watching a uh, a, a pro professional though. Like like mm. him using that yeah. is just like yeah. He knows how to get that ship to do exactly what it needs to do. So yeah. Um. And the final cutlass. I think that's where I think we can all agree that's the best one at the moment. At, at the very least. S tier. Yeah. Um, yeah. Black, the van of the universe. Yeah, everyone loves it. It is the it is probably the most popular ship outside of the Aurora. I, I agree with you because yep. it's just so good at what it does. <laughs> Definitely been the, like a staple to play the game in for. The, God, it would have to be the last five six years at least. It does everything? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, um, I'm gonna cut it straight back up to the top and do the Krakens first, if that's okay with you guys. So just uh, sure. do both Krakens. Uh, I got a privateer and yeah. How do I can I give S tier to a capital that is not out yet? I don't know if I can. Um, but I do love this thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna subtract the point just for it's not out. How does that sound? All right? I'll play it fair. Um yeah, I own one. I know Agra owned one. Uh did, did any of you not own one? I don't own one. I do I not own one. I do not. All right. So so is this something as a big Drake fan, Paul, that you wanna aspire to get? At some point, yeah. maybe. Okay. Um, it, it, it's it's it's. I I, I I I. Me and Logan talked about this yesterday. Mm. This is the thing with all ships. Mm. Every Drake ship is just a cutlass. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Every, Every ship is a cutlass. This is the cutlass capital ship. Yeah. And and if you like the cutlass, you will like the Kraken because it does everything that the cutlass does, but for capitals. Mm. And th th that's the perfect example of it. So. So Lemming, do you just hate Drake? Is that you're not a Drake fan or? <laughs> No, so the the interest video that was on a couple a couple of weeks ago, um, I went into that being like, "Wow, I, I think I'm going to want one of these," and walked out of it and being like, "Wow, I'm glad I don't have one of those." <laughs> and um, it it has it has caused me concern about ships of that size. 
All right. Uh, how much is it going to have to be like the, the, yeah. the cost or I mean, about people... how much how much it is going to be to move it to move around inside it? Um, I just have a lot of concern right now. Yeah. All right. Buccaneer. I yeah, really remember, wanted to love the Buccaneer. That. I really wanted to love the Buccaneer, um, but I just don't think it's landed where it needs to land. I mean, with the capital ships, you have to remember that the Kraken, the Idris, and the Javelin are all raid ships. They're all made for raids, not for individuals or small groups. Anyway, Buccaneer. Uh, um, I say, wait, who, who's, who's F? Lemon? He really yeah. hates Drake. He really hates Drake. Oh. That's why I well, asked. I, I, my in defense of the buccaneer, it's bad now, but in the in master modes, it is oh, absolutely true. the best. Shit. It's so fun to fly in master modes. It is. It it reminds me of what was life like was like in um in uh it, like the three hundred was like in earlier earlier patches. It's nimble. It's very fast. Um, it's, it's always it's, been fun it, though, Paul. It just it just doesn't. Yeah, well, it it's, it's been a function of damage. Useful. <laughs> it, it does it does damage it does work in master mode so yeah. it does um, all right cutting uh, sorry. the reason that i'm so low on that is it's another coffin yeah all right. okay moving on to the vulture sorry i really do have to pick up speed we are massively behind we've now been half an hour and we haven't gone to two manufacturers and we've got we've got more than half to go so yeah we're gonna we, I, I, i'm really cautious of you getting to your show paul uh the vulture yeah Thank i you. think this is about a yeah well, dang it paul I got it. Do you know how hard it is to get everyone here? Four corners of the globe? It's a nightmare. Well, well, well we could also drop you off, Paul, if you want us to go at a more slower pace. Yeah, that's. No, he was just <laughs> getting all of my letters before I wrote them down. Oh, right. <laughs> right, right. All right. Um, yeah, the Vulture. I think we can all agree this is kind of a good, a good place here. Um, I, I'm kind of happy with how it turned out. I think they've fixed a lot of the problems of getting out of the seat and all that type of shit. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't really have a bad thing to say. It's good. Yeah, it's, um, it's getting better. It's 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 go okay and get better. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, mule. Uh, <laughs> Mule's a question mark for me. What yeah. are you? What is your purpose? Yeah. What do you do? Yeah, I'm going between D and F. I, I yeah, it's S T. I'm S T. S plus. <laughs> All right, I can't get, get and have that go I down think, to my history. I think we can all say you're trolling, but yeah. Um, I'm just going to go D across the board here for these ones. Um, I think vehicles are just in a, they're an A to B thing right now. That's what they the, feel like. The, the Star Kitten is S only because it is uh, the coolest mm. thing that CIG has added. Mm. So yeah, Hello Kitty uh, Space Bike. Thank you. That's, yeah, they're so yeah. lucky they didn't get sued. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. T, what would you like to do next? I'm just picking you because you were kind of. Yeah, yeah, Let's go with uh, CNOU. You can pass through pretty quickly. Can, yep. I, can I also say before we go that mm -hmm. I think the cutter, as a lot of us said, S tier, uh, is, is the best starter ship because shit. of so, how versatile it is. Oh, shit. We didn't yep. do, I didn't do the cutter. Shit. Um, yeah, no. I love the cutter. Cutter is awesome. Or the and Corsair. The, um, the one that's not on here, though, is the Rambler, and that is an utter F for me. Um, the, I honestly think that the Cutter Rambler should have been the base, and the Cutter it should have been like absolutely. the cargo variant. Well, essentially, that if you been... kind of look at it, they wanted to have a vehicle that crossed the line between starter and advanced starter, and so I think the Cutter mm. falls into the best starter, and the Rambler is the lowest quality advanced starter. If you actually kind of look mm. at it like, and then it makes sense. But I, but that's why I hate it because it's a low tier advanced starter. Uh, anyway. Right, uh, we'll go straight down the Mustangs on the left-hand side. So go bananas. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, I kind of agree on that one. That's got to drop a point because it's... Gosh, I don't know the Mustangs very well. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit out of favor at the moment, are they not? Which one was the one that was supposed to be like the what the Rambler is? Uh, that's the beta. The Delta yeah. beta. I don't know what you are. You get an F. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. the, 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 what, the alpha vindicator? Yeah. Just a skin. It's just an alpha with a skin. Yeah. Oh. You get an F for that. 
All right, so I'm going to chuck these all in together. Does anyone want to talk about the series as a whole? Um, I'm noticing... Uh, I'll be very quick. Yeah, go for it. I have no idea how good they are in racing. Apparently, they, they might be pretty good, and we might have just pissed off a lot of racers. I've but never seen yeah. anyone racing them. Not in a long time. Um, so, yeah. The, the Delta is fantastic if you know how to use it, but mm. it is a worse... It is the least expensive, uh, like, light fighter, mm. but it is also a coffin. <laughs> It's so hard to survive in that, but it's so fun to dumb fire those rockets. Mm. The beta used to be amazing because the interior was like a shagging wagon yeah. and then they redid it. So now it looks like a prison cell. Mm. So it is an F in my opinion, mm. because they, the aesthetic it does look like a prison suck. cell, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a prison cell. <laughs> yeah. it, they, 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 sw they swapped out the seventies swag. Like I'm going to get laid in this thing mm. to, uh, to, to, uh, a, a Kleischer sh shell. So, um, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so, so our grid, I assume your low scores like mine because there are just better starters. Yeah, there are better starters. Pretty much the yeah. Delta and the Gamma are oh, the Omega and the Gamma. They're mm. different because the Omega's a special ship with the unique skin. Mm. Originally, it was supposed to be a better racer. They're now identical in terms of racing capability, and mm. there are better races. Yeah. All right, the Nomad. I, I'm kind of interested on this one because it's always controversial. Um, I think it's really bad value, but I think it's a fantastic ship. Oh, yeah, I yeah, love it. It's terrible value, good ship, but uh, it's we in a weird, weird place because it's it's not worth even in game. It's not worth the money you pay for it compared mm. to what you can get with uh, unless you um, bought the original starter pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, space. You love it. You you gave it a high score than anyone else. Anything you want to add to that? Since everyone's shut on your dreams. Um. I I just think it's a it's a solid ship for somebody who's working their way up through the uh through the cargo line. Mm -hmm. I mean, like this thing can you can definitely hop into this before the Cutlass Black. You could use this to kind of go your way, get a little bit more range out of uh your early cargo aspirations. I think it's a solid update from something like a yeah. cutter. So um, it's there for obviously the, uh, you, you can you, you can the, side grade. Yeah, it's definitely like this utility. isn't required, but I but with the tractor beam, the exterior cargo with manual loading and unloading, I think this thing's going to be pretty nice for those smaller cargo missions. Yeah, it speaks to something different. All right, hover quad, um, worst vehicle. I don't know what to say. It's one of, one of the worst. I I I thought that too, but then I saw uh, Burks testing it. It is absolutely the best ve uh, hover vehicle. That, that, is, those are some yeah, fighting words. They have some, well. some fighting words. It's acceleration and handling is like like leaps and bounds ahead mm -hmm. of all of the other of the other ships that in, in its class. So but yeah. I don't like it because it's aesthetics. <laughs> Loken, why do you like the pioneer like me, sir? Well, I like the Pioneer. I mm. like the Pioneer because it's, well, a capital base building vessel and it's just got a hell of a lot more value because the reason it isn't gone. The only reason it's not higher is because, well, it can only do that, if mm. you get my meaning. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's it's very much a niche, but I think it's going to be, like anything that's in a niche that's high up there, it's going to be required. So yeah, time will tell with a lot of these things. All right. Um, let me, if you want to pick one, uh, manufacturer, please. Let's do Misk. Misk, that's another big one to knock off. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, can we chuck all the the C, D, and E, C, D, and E, please? So let's do those because they're all kind of similar. Uh, C, D, and E. Um, God, this is hard when they're not out. Um, Um, Mr. S tier, Mr. Tomato, why so good? You, you're definitely a utility player. I'm, I'm noticing that now. Um, you, you, yes. you like the utility stuff, yeah. So yeah, go, yeah. Tell, tell, tell us. Um, us. it's just, I mean, I don't. Uh, it's not going off of any sort of uh, hard numbers. But I, I already know what it is. The... You were drawing things before the show started, and that thing looks like those things that you were drawing. So I know why you like it. Oh, no, just kidding. You can uh, say it. Execute. Yeah, no, you're fine. allowed to say penis on youtube yeah it's fine yeah but... it's been, been past five minutes we're fine yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um no it's uh it, it this thing is compact for how much it carries Absolutely. and i mean i guess you could say that about all the hulls but the sea is right there you know mm -hmm. it's the most popular ship in the verse for a reason absolutely all right uh do we want to add do you want to does anyone want to say anything uh, i guess lemming yours are really low so do, do, uh, especially on the oh, your scores differ uh, so Lemming, just give us your thoughts on on the the bigger ones. So the, when the whole C came out, I had a major pause because I was like, "Holy cow, this thing's big!" Mm. Um, 
with a D and then looking at its size compared to the D. Mm. Oh, the D's too big. It's just, it's too much chip. Yeah. For, on, for only doing one thing and kind of dangerously. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, 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 but it is going to be an event to see one, let's be honest. Like, when that thing comes through, you're just going to be like, that thing's huge. Um, we'll see. All right, um, the A and the B. Um, I think these are your start and cargo profession. I really do. Um, yeah. But it is going to be a bit monotonous because you're essentially going to be going between station and planet over and over and over. Um, but the versatility on bigger ships, like, say, unloading a Kraken or something like that, I think that's where they'll really shine. Anyone else want to add to that before we move on? Yeah, we can move on. All right, Starfarers, let's do those. God, this thing's a mess. Let's just say that right now. It is terrible, but I think in the future it'll get fixed. It is also the only uh, gas collector we currently have in game. So it, again, falls into a unique niche. Um, yeah, I'm kind of with you two gents on that. It's a bit... I've I've never had a ship that I've melted as much as this. <laughs> <laughs> so you've, like, brought it back, melted, brought it and back. And then melted it back. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that... It it's it, it has it has um a uh, reclaimer syndrome yeah um whereas reclaimer is really bad because it was built before they actually had any idea of what the uh the system was be at least it works mm. the star yeah, fair just yeah. straight up doesn't work <laughs> yeah and it's designed like 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 badly so yeah. it's it's like it needs it needs almost a top down rework especially with things like the odyssey coming out we might might see it completely it's got so many features and stuff in it too like it, it it's got like 20 drop or 12 drop sheets and why does it have yeah. drop sheets you know like all these weird things like that so it's definitely in a holdover a little bit like the retaliator from an older time so hopefully i'm looking forward to a rework right um we'll just start at the top and work our way down so i'm going to do the expanse so this is going to be a love or hate it type of ship i'm just going to give it c um i think they're going to be better refinery ships um, does anyone else want to talk about the expanse? Uh, the ability to have uh, the you know a small compact refinery ship for small enterprising mm. you know players basically. So, the... so, so the biggest problem that I have with the expanse is that it's not doing what all the other ships are doing as far as like with refined <laughs> cargo because mm. it it's putting a refined cargo into mm. bags and no other ship does that. Mm. I, I, I think it's the, my biggest problem with it, and this is going to sound stupid, is its name. I, I just can't stand yeah. its name. So, yeah. Um, Man, I don't remember how to do this. The still see yeah, no, I know what you're doing. Top, yeah, yeah, yeah. top right here. It's top yeah. right here, and then like right there. Yeah. Down to here? There. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, like that. And then, and then, and then you cl close this off, and you close this off. The only problem is you did it Are backwards. You, sure? you did it backwards. Yeah, you did it backwards. <laughs> you you got to do the diagonal <laughs> like, the, 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 Yeah, they got to go to the other side. Oh, you didn't need to delete it. You almost had it all. Anyway, yeah, I I have to give it S tier as well. Uh, just does too Cult much. Cult of the Endeavor. Too much. Cult of the Endeavor. <laughs> it does too much. Oh, like... hail the Endeavor. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys Savior saw it. Of all. I don't know if you guys saw it on stream yesterday. Me and Algrid kind of did, <laughs> went into Hangar Link and did a size thing on this, and like this thing is just, it's gonna get scary big. This there yeah. is no way. There is mm. no way the Endeavor is going to stay 200 meters when the Odyssey is 140 because yeah. the Odyssey is basically the front of the Endeavor. Yeah. So that's it's going to be at least 500 meters. There's no way it's getting lower than um, that. I think the minimum <laughs> the minimum that Grim and us worked out was 420. Is the minimum yeah, minimum? Yeah, and just to put minimum. that in perspective, a javelin is 480. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of wild. The size of a javelin. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of wild how much the front of the Endeavor actually does look like the Odyssey from above. Yeah, yeah because it's, right. if, it, it's because remember the front of the Endeavor is supposed to disconnect, and it's yeah. pretty obvious that CIG when they designed the Odyssey, they were designing it to be the front of the Endeavor or With, something to the to the like like that's the the yeah. the working point of it. Without drastic changes, they could just make it longer. But I think like so you know how currently everything kind of sits flat on a plane. So you got like the four biopods. If they kind of changed it so it rotated and the the four biopods rotated around it and stuff like that, then they might be able to condense it and make it like a physically smaller ship, but in three D rather than on a flat plane. Um, and again, they should really do that with the ship because it is a space lock ship essentially. So I think it might get yeah. more of a rework than we're going to expect. Anyway. 
All right. Um, moving on. Uh, it's going to be worth more than 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 it is now. It yeah. is it is a joke how cheap that thing is. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure anyone watching our videos or this video at this point knows how much we ran about it. So yeah, we will do another god tier episode on that at some point because that was I, I will never forget how you flustered and ran your hands through the hair uh, from the, uh, the what was that ship the Hopalite versus the the Prowler. That was the yeah, best yeah. thing of that whole video, and it was nothing to do with the with the ship uh, that we were talking about. Um. Yeah, I'm kind of A on this at the moment. I am seriously considering getting rid of my Carrick for it and just earning down. It's solid. Yeah. It's solid. It was a D for me a couple of, a couple of months ago. Yeah. Bad marketing. Let's be honest. It was all marketing. All right, let's yeah. go into the, uh, the cock rocket or the freelancer, whatever you want to call it. Woo! Um, yeah, I'm kind of... Jeez, okay, that's... Me and Tomato are going to disagree on this one quite a bit. Um... Uh, yep. Yeah, don't don't take my combat ratings seriously. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, like whenever we come across combat mm -hmm. ships, I just kind of. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, it, there's nothing else kind of like it. Like, you, almost like what the A one is like. It, this is this is the same thing. Like, it's just a missile boat, just fires missiles like a crazy. There's nothing else that does that. Um. So yeah, if if missiles get a bit of a buff, this thing's gonna be scary. Um, and I call it a misery for a reason because it's going to make people miserable. Does anyone want to? It's talk also going to be armored and other kind of stuff. So yeah. Anyone uh, kind of want to talk about the freelancer? It it, it really it's does need a favorite, bit of a buff here. It it is my favorite series outside of Drake. Mm -hmm. Um, the whole every ship has a purpose. Yep. The, uh, I think that the freelancer mm -hmm. max is good, even though it it, it like there are other ships that are going to be like, mm -hmm. uh, that can hold as much. It's just uh. <laughs> <laughs> just want to point that out that's kind of what thumbs up that freelancer at the moment yeah. um. uh, the, the uh like i've heard people be like oh well you know the freelancer is going to be pointless because the yeah. zeus x blah, blah, whatever the zeus uh, that has the cargo has more cargo it's like it only has like five more cargo mm -hmm. and it's like twice the size of the freelancer max yeah. so it's very it's like it's good, small and compact yeah, yeah no it's it's all great and yeah. the freelancer itself is great too and the mm -hmm. thing that everyone forgets about is that you're going to have to have a lot of quantum travel, quantum uh, mm. fuel to go places. And mm. outside of something like the Mercury, the Freelancer is nuts for its range. That thing has can go for days. Yep. Um, so that, that's real as where it's coming Pro Don't yeah. forget the Prospector guys over on the left uh, next to the Staffer and uh, below the Holly. Um, really good mining ship. Um, you'll, have, you'll have a lot of fun with it right now. I think it's just going to get outclassed by bigger miners as time goes on, though. But um, yeah, nothing really wrong with it. Anyone want to speak to that or we'll move on to the, the, the what's that ship with the three wheels for Mr. Bean? That's this ship, the Reliant. Um, uh, yeah, the Reliant. <laughs> what's it's it? actually called uh, the Reliant Robin. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's the Robin. Yeah. So this thing, I I love the look of it, but man, it's like, oh, and then you get home and you're disappointed. It, it, it feels a little yeah. bit like that. Um, so, yeah. Tano's good. Tano's probably pretty pretty solid. It's a good combat ship. It's, a, it's like a mini uh, Vanguard. Mm-hmm. Um, in terms of its combat ability, it, it's a sleeper and it's yep. decent, but it's the only decent one. Everything else is uh, like average or bad. We're mm -hmm. looking at you, Mako. What? Why do you exist? Uh... All right. It's, um... a, it's a great CCU chain helper. <laughs> Agrid, uh, which one would you like to do next, mate? RSI. RSI? Oh, shit. Uh... We are gonna to have to pick this up, boys, like drastically. We got if, if, if I have to drop, I have to drop. Yep. If I have to drop, that's fine. We'll, yep. we'll we'll just keep going. All so right. all right. Um constellations down the left. Go nuts. Uh God, do we price do we do this now or in the future? That's that's a tough one. Um <laughs> Is there an E? No, there's a D though. All right. Um, let's see. All right. Uh, anyone want to speak to the Connie series? Agra, are you doing the Connie? Where are you, mate? I can't see you as on there. Um, I think it's in a bad place right now across the board, the Connie. I think it will definitely get an upgrade, though, having Chris's name on it. I'll leave it at that. Yeah, I think this is right, right? Yeah. It just oh, needs good. overall. The whole thing just needs an overhaul. Yeah. It's good. It just uh, it has problems, and the problems are the same things that face the freelancer. Yep. It's old. <laughs> uh perseus um i really like oh boy this. really like this thing i just think it's really overpriced if you can get it for half price like me and Agrid did much better ship that price 
So yeah, I, I it really always like it. it's all it always surprises me how small it is. Yeah, yeah, it's tiny. This, this is the Harry. thing: we spend so much time <laughs> looking at these JPEGs, and they're all roughly the same size. You've got to go back and look at ship scale images like this, and it totally changes the perspective and value of something. Like, like, like people were. We did a poll: fifty-seven percent of people thought the Arastra was better than the Orion. Yet the Orion is six times the size, and they were the oh my same, god, they were the same price on certain days. That's insane. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, I I think it's S tier. The Orion next one. Um, the Orion. Yeah. I, Behemoth, how, how do you compete with yeah. that? Just choose mountains, essentially. And, and I know a lot of people would detract and say it can't go down to planets, but that's small time if you're eating entire asteroids. What? Why would you? Why would you need to go down to, go down to planets when you can eat a planet? Yeah, essentially. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine if that was a thing? Like they just start chewing into the side of a planet, and everyone's like fleeing, like no. Anyway, um, the, uh, what is it? The the Star Trek 2016, you know, mm -hmm. like if we're going to use we're going to use dark matter to mine a planet. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I can uh, super Arastra. Yeah, uh, Polaris, and, <laughs> Polaris and Arastra. Um, really looking forward to Polaris. Um, I think we all are. Um, Lemmy, yeah. I think Lemmy was going AFK. I'm not seeing any yellow from Lemmy. So I'm I, I can't draw right now, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, click, you have to click and then. OK. Yeah, you, click out, you have to click back on. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. Um, oh, God, you guys rated their Astro High. I'm going to knock it down a tier. I just don't think it's good value. Um, the fact it's that solid. They, they had to put the price of the Orion up to fit it in. That kind of tells me everything I need to know. Mm. I think it'll be great, just, though. Like, visually, it's awesome. It, I love it. Let, let me let, let the, the reason why the Astro is good is the same reason why the Perseus and Polaris mm. are good is that they're good ships that do what they need to do with a small crew load. They're not mm. incredibly high crew. And that that's why they're good ships. Like mm. the Polar Perseus is the perfect, you know, f you know, five to six people hang out, go to do a couple missions and come back. And the mm. Rastra is almost the same thing. It is the perfect group mission mm. ship. So they just have to make group 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 gameplay good. So. I'm noticing the Mantis is kind of with the Polaris, the Polaris is going to be the best capital ship because it yep. is the smallest yeah. uh, small crew mm. yeah uh lemon gave the mantis a d but it's sitting around uh, besides him it was averaging a b until lemon did that so lemming what's just shit because it's small and crap or what it dies too quickly to do its job effectively like so it needs a good pilot find, like, is what you're saying like it glows red when it's doing its job and it's a giant kill me Sign. I think you just called the mantis the Rudolph the red nosed reindeer. Uh, unless I heard anything. It, it kind of is. Right. Okay. Hmm. Um, S tier lemming on the the galaxy. Why so, mate? You're the uh, you and Mr. Lemming both agree on an S tier. So tell me, Mr. T. On the galaxy, I mean, yeah. look at the versatility of it. The size, the versatility, mm. the amount of stuff that you can do in a ship that size with with that kind of crew i mean i guess it's 110 meters but um you've got a lot of different versatile types of gameplay i think they can do a ship i think modular ships just ask for a higher rating as long as modular is actually yeah. working i would give mm -hmm. it an s tier if it just wasn't for the aesthetics i i slightly like the caterpillar a little more and 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 i think this is the one thing that get, gets the score above is the modular um command module I would take that over the the little S tier snub bay because that little command module is essentially like a freelancer without a cargo bay. It is, yeah, and that that's the main reason it goes to S tier over this for me. But yeah, anyway. Um. Oh god, you guys are waiting for me. Um. The Zeus. Jeez, Louise. Uh. Sorry, you're talking, so we're 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 yeah, catching it's, up. It's fine. Um. Yeah, I'll give them B's across the board for right now. Yeah, it's just hard. It's so hard to tell things with the Zeus because the Zeus, mm. like, it looks okay. It looks good. Uh, I, it's grown on me. I'm mad, I'm still mad they didn't go with the original design. Decided mm. to update the design. I still think it's kind of bad for what it is. But um, <laughs> like they they've said straight up, like the CL is good, but it's it's it, uh, it's you're going to have to like you're gonna lose a lot of your uh, mm. um, a lot of your your ability to fix components because all of your stuff's gonna be blocked so it's like it's like yeah it's good but eh. i think that's this, all of them are good and i think people are overestimating them but yeah we'll um, find out soon rather than later 
Yeah, I think it's the yeah. same thing with the Apollo. Though. Yeah, we're all waiting for that to drop as well. Uh, we're definitely going to see that this year. Um, and I think it's going to bring in line a lot of the other medical ships, like like the the Cutlass and the Pisces and things like that. So I'm interested to see how that one pans out as well. Does anyone want to speak on that? You're all, we're all S or A, so it's definitely highly rated by all of us. Mm -hmm. no, every no, for the medicine, so yeah, and mm -hmm. it's modular. It's yep. it's a secret modular ship that people don't realize it's modular because mm -hmm. you can swap out the beds. So it's it's anything that's mm -hmm. modular is going to get a higher rating just because, like like Tomato said, just because mm -hmm. it's got so much potential. Um, I think the Aurora is kind of falling across the board just because there's better starters. Yeah. I think that's kind of like you can see it reflected in the scores unless anyone wants to speak. Wait for the Mark II. Yeah. The Mark II <laughs> Aurora CIG. Yeah. Give me that Scorpius wings on that um, baby. Um, this is a Mark IV on that ship by now. Yeah, the oh, yeah no, it's Mark like four or Mark like seven. Yeah. It's been around since for like 500 years. <laughs> this is one of the only medium vehicles we've got at the moment. And I think to compare it fairly, we're kind of really waiting on the G12 uh, and that to come in. But um, mm -hmm. the Lynx for me is an absolute fail. I can't stand that thing. It's a joke. It's all right. I absolutely yeah. love it personally. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's good for luxury, but it's the problem is like what luxury <laughs> in the video game. Yeah. Bring on the ambulance. That's uh, what I say. Yes. Bring uh, on the marine re rapid assault vehicle. I the, think the, the military version of the Ursa. I think we'll get Aegis out of the way next. So because I'm, I think I'm the only one that hasn't done one. Or is there anyone yeah. I've missed? I must have missed. Uh, one. Lemming maybe. No, I, I, no, Lemming did um. Misc. RSI. Yeah, he did misc. No, no. Niagara did oh, RSI. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we'll just do the javelins down the left. Uh, the not yeah, not the javelins. The Idris is down the left. My bad. So yeah, we need to knock those all out. Um, the K is though, just the transport one, right? The fully demilitarized one, yeah. Uh, the the uh, the that's the P. Oh, okay. The cool. K is the one that with the with the Hurston Dynamics yeah. beam gun on it. Yeah. Oh, that's got to get an S in. Mm. I'm giving them all the same score. I don't. I don't. You know, they're they're, they're roughly the same. Like you, what, five percent difference between them just by changing a single gun. Um, it's going to be one of the most polished ships in the entire game, though. I'll give you that. Um, my score oh, yeah. may change once it's in game. I I've got to see how it actually functions in game and like how hard it is to use as a crew and stuff like that. And I don't think we have that information enough to know yet. So I hinted at it earlier, but um, it seems like they were selling a um an FPS stage rather than a ship. A little bit, yeah. All right, yeah. and the Nautilus. Um, I think this thing is the powers in its minds. Um, it's another one of those ships I'm waiting to kind of see where it pans out. Yeah, it's about an A for me as well. There's no difference between the Solstice and the Nautilus. Just, no, it's just a skin. That's why I chucked my score skin. in the middle. Yeah, yeah, it's just a skin. Yeah. Uh, Javelin. I think this is a little bit similar to the Idris, like kind of what Lemming said. Like it, it feels a bit like a flying level, and it's still yet to prove itself to me anyway. Um, anyone no, I think it's in. I think it's an A, just because it's the biggest capital ship we're gonna get. So it's and we've seen it in game. We've seen how how the AI can use it. It is mm. it is a beat stick when it when it's used, but it's it is basically it is it it is what it says on the tin. It's a destroyer. Mm. That's it. If you're, you're buying it for anything else, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> the reason I've got it as a B is again, as I've said before, it is a rate ship. It's not yeah. meant for mm. small groups. Okay. And so that limits its will limit its use. I kind of want to give the Hammerhead a, a lower score, Loken, and Algrid, but I feel I'd be being a bit of an arsehole if I did that. I just find this ship incredibly boring, um, and, and, and I don't think you're going to have a lot to do on it. It's essentially a, a, secu a mall security guard. That's what it feels like. Um, I just think it's... Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the Hammerhead. Yeah. yeah. Are there any other ships in the game that can do what it does? Um, uh, not yet, but like when you can build your own turrets on the ground, you know, um, you can do mines, you can do sentry turrets with the Nautilus. You see what I mean? Like there's other options. Um, I don't know. I feel like in missions like the mining claim jumpers, this thing is the absolute best choice. I like the idea of what the hammerhead can do. I like the fact it's an anti-fighter screen. I just don't like the interior design layout right now. I think it fundamentally lacks a few things for a ship of its size. Mm. And um, I'll just like it to have a once over and also put the bridge on the top rather than the bottom, please. Yeah. The giant uh, hole in it kind of kills it for me. It's such a waste. Yeah, of the space. giant hole makes yeah, yeah no it makes it way it interesting. Is, it, yeah. It's it's an in, it's it's a one of the examples of how CIG's rule of cool mm. fails uh design. Yeah. Uh, and CIG has this problem with where they're gonna go with cool rule of cool over design and it ends up being 
Mm. Uh, well, a ship that doesn't do what you want it to do because mm. it's does not designed to do that. You want to talk about <laughs> the yeah, redeemer? I remember when they were building, uh, when they were starting the idea of a hammerhead. They took the view that what would happen if we turned a retaliator into a full-on anti-fire platform, <laughs> and that's why the hammerhead originally started. Mm. You know, so I think the hole is just a carryover from take out the torpedo bay and put. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, I gotta change my layer. Hang on, gotta drag that to the top. <laughs> there we go. Oh shit, there, there we go. Hey, kiss it. <laughs> I can't put my layer up, Paul. This is not fair. Why are I letting you move the layer? Ah, oh, there we go. Problem solved. All right. It's um, okay. I put it over here. Yeah. You know. <laughs> All right, so let's do the retaliator first before me and Paul get into shenanigans on the redeemer. Right, um, I, I think with the rework, this will definitely go up in in tier. But five oh, yeah. people on size two turrets, this thing is awful right now. Um, but I do I do recognize the rework will hopefully fix a lot of those issues. Anyone else want to speak to redeemer? No, uh, 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 re 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 retaliator. Sorry, I mixed retaliator. up. Retaliator. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, yeah, I'm getting ready for the fight. I'm getting ready. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, modularity. Same thing in the Redeemer, why the Redeemer is really good. So, Paul, real quick, yeah. I know yours are law based, right? But you actually have a like, it's, you want a different. Yeah, I've got a couple reasons. So, so real, it's designed real, poorly. Real, sorry, sorry, real quick, I can make this really short and sweet. We did a can we fix it on this ship that we haven't ever released that we need to redo. But the long story yeah. short of it was, um, for, that I took away from you and Algrid was this is not the ship that you wanted from uh, the next great starship. But if they made another ship, this would appease all those people that, that like it, and then the second ship would be for all the people that hate it, yeah? That, that, that's kind yeah. of the takeaway, yeah. Okay. They need that. They need more. Uh, the, 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 my gist of why I don't like it is because mm. it's not designed well. Its engines are just aesthetic. They have no, they have no mm. actual purpose. Like, there's no... It, like, you don't mm. get, like, extra burn time mm. with, like... Uh, they're not efficient with, with uh, whatever, the, the VTOL mm. and stuff like that. Mm. I don't like the aesthetics... I think that the, they swap, you swap some things around, mm -hmm. and it's the only ship in the game that has contradictory lore. Yep, and that's so, and that's hugely lore. important. It has contradictory that's, lore. It's hugely important. So I can't even say well, it with a straight not, face. Right? Yeah. Sorry. It, it, it is important yeah. because a lot of the lore is 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 tied to the design process because mm -hmm. the lore is written alongside the, the design of the ship, and it's just the the, the, the team just basically went. Oh mm. fuck it, and they just threw it out there. It's it's everything yeah. I hate about 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 all of the bad practices mm. of, of bad game design. It's yeah. all of the terrible practices of bad game design. I, it so. usually comes down to the engines. You either love them or hate them. At the end of the day, that's that's most people. So yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Anvil Reaper. That's what you need to call the new one. By the way, CIG. You get that for free. There you go. Uh, Vulcan. Um, damn this this thing really up went up a tier for me. Having talked to Told badges. You. Um, yeah, badges. Told you. Really, yeah, badges really convinced me. Um, yeah, A or B somewhere in there for me. Anyone want to speak on that? I just really love the idea of it. Compact, multi-use, utility, industri industrial ship. Yeah. I, I if if somebody else comes out with something that matches this, you mm -hmm. know, if it comes from a company I like more, I'll probably be more into it. But I love the concept. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, uh, Reclaimer. I freaking love this thing. You don't have to love it. That's totally fine. Um, I love the Nostromo, the Aliens vibes. Oh, from the very top? Yep. Um, how everything feels. Um, just nothing lands like this thing. This is like a giant space crab type thing when it lands and it just kind of cuddles the planet. I don't know how else to say that, but um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I like that idea. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'd like the aesthetic of how this thing lands on another smaller ship. I reckon it'd be kind of cool to see that, you know, the four legged thing um, in something else. And it's just a design they don't have on any other ship in the entire game, um, which I think is a shame. Anyway. Mm -hmm. I spent a lot of time in the Reclaimer this patch. Mm -hmm. I love it so much. Right. Okay. Uh, the Eclipse. Very overpriced for me. But re oh God, I've, got, I've got to put it up a tier. I've just realized. Really good right now with the, the solo missions, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because A is, because B is uh, is now like 70%. It's like the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah. I think I'm going to go B across the board uh, for all three. Uh, They're literally just skins, and yeah. the Valiant's are worse because it's also a skin plus weapons package. Yeah. yeah I, 
you know, it, it, it's in Squadron 42, it should be a bit minimum of the road. I think this is going to be the starting fighter in Squadron, unless anyone thinks different. It is. Yeah. I think yeah, it's going to be well. solid, though. Yeah. I think it's going to be a good fighter, and it is the, it is, it has been the meta pipe fighter for a long time. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's ever going to go away, but. Yeah. Um, Sentinel is where it's at. Uh, yes. Uh, and I think this is B, and then I'll give this C. So they're pre essentially impressively worse me. I think the Hopperlite was uh -huh. a mistake. They and, and I think yeah. even CIG know it because they went and made the uh, the Valkyrie. So yep. they they know it was a mistake. They made and, the Hoplite because they needed a ship for the yeah the I, Javelin and the Redeemer didn't cut the mustard. I, I would either yeah. give people options to get their credits back or just give them a free upgrade to a Valkyrie because that thing just needs to go. Sometimes you have to cut things, and I just think that needs to be cut at some point. It, it's it's dead weight. Extra things they got to do. So yeah, it doesn't have a bed in it. It's the only a uh, Vanguard without a bed. I just found yeah. that out this week. Mm. It's okay, but it's 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 one of those things where it's an example of CIGs trying deciding to sell something that they haven't done product for. Like it's already done. We already have the models. Just sell it. You know. So mm. rather than being like, is this a game that should be, should this belong in the game sort of thing. All right, um, the Sabres, everyone's pretty close on those. I think it needs a bit of a, a rework. I think it might get it with the, um, the the master modes and things like that, unless you guys think different. Anyone want to speak on that? I uh, just hope it gets a rework it deserves. They're of the mill. Yeah. Uh, I've got the Sabre Raven as an F, mainly because, not because it's such a special ship, I do think we'll get a a variant of that, of another Sabre that is kind of a Raven equivalent. Yeah. But it's an S because it is an infra runner. It is a <laughs> stop ship. It mm. is a car. It is a scout. But it was also designed as an infra runner. Mm. Loken, you... and people forget that. Loken, did you want to say anything, or are you? No, I'm. I'm good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, well, the raven, at least. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's fine. They they are all ravens technically. He's not wrong. Um, the Avengers. I I think they've fallen just a little bit because of the cutter. Unless anyone else can. They take a hit because of the cutter, yeah. Yeah, they do. Um, it's the only reason it's not S tier for me is because of what happened with the cutter. Okay, I think we can move on there. Um, Mr. T, do you want to pick another one? Crusader, I'm assuming? Crusader. Right. Yeah. All right, um, all the twos. A2, C2, and M2. Hercules. Yeah, I'll, I'll be generous. Um, I'm gonna bite the bullet on the A2. Uh, most overpriced piece of shit in the entire game. Not that it's not yep. great or fun. It's just so overpriced. It's disgusting. Um, it's stupidly priced. Yeah, it, ridiculously priced. Um, so I put so I put the A2 as an A because of Jump Town. It changes when somebody calls out an A2's mm. incoming on Jump Town. Mm. It changes Jump Town. I don't want to ever put you and my uh, morphologist in a room. It's going to end badly. <laughs> um, let's just say that. Um, yeah. I don't know. Th there has to be things in this game that you hate. And I think, I, you know, that you, you said that space and we keep repeating it because it's so true. Um, and I think more, even Morph would agree with us on everyone on that. Yeah. You've got to have those things that you don't like for it to, to balance out. Space? Nope. Okay. Yep. Did he drop it yeah, out? there's gonna be something. No, I there. agree. Hmm. Yeah, like if everybody likes everything, then there's not going to be space for other people to use those things. Mm -hmm. hmm. All right. Um. Anyone want to talk about C two or M two, or just the Hercules? I think the, the C two. I still defend defend the C two and M two. I think the C two and M two will or are, are the the best ships for hauling vehicles hmm. because they're small. They don't require a huge cr uh, cr crew, um, and hmm. uh, they can haul a ton of vehicles, like three to four vehicles at the same time. Plus mm. some ships, so they're 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 it's better than the Liberator in my opinion, just because even though the Liberator only requires like two people to operate, it's um like about eh, what thirty forty meters longer, so yeah. uh, and not really aerodynamic or anything, and doesn't have like a lot of the space. Yeah, it it just yeah, I still think it's better. Okay, space, uh, you're kind of in the middle of the road on the Genesis, so do you want to tell us a little bit about the Genesis because you're in the middle there? Um... So, yeah, what's your thoughts on that? I, I don't think there's any other large-scale passenger transport in the game. 
Is or at least plan for the game. Would be the closest. Right the E1 um, would be the closest, I guess. Yeah. The E1, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The E1. The Fe- no, the Phoenix is a. Uh, mm. Got sweets. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it'd be like the. E- no, I think the Phoenix or the. Um... It's got to speak to you because clearly it speaks to Lemming and Paul. Um, but it doesn't speak to me and Loken as an example. So, so it's so, an amazing uh, idea for a ship. It's just, yeah. I think it's one of the hardest to picture. For Let, a lot of yeah. People. Lemming, what's the, what's the draw card for you, Lemming? What, what, what's, the, what's the, you know, what pushes it to ST for you? It combines two different professions that should be combined. And it's the only ship that kind of does that. Okay. So you can. It speaks to you is what you're saying. Yeah. 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 Okay. And it also is potentially modular, so I think it's going to get lose a lot of that. But we'll, again, that's yep. it's like well, it's, 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 yeah, it's like what Space said. It's a little bit up in the air. Um, Spirit series, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm the only one that hasn't. Done eh. Um, Logan. Yeah, anyone want to speak about? Uh, I really like the C one. I think it's a really nice uh, size, and I it flies beautifully. I also like the A one because I enjoy its bomber capabilities. Mm. Um, I think it's basically everything that the A2 does, but in a smaller, compact, and more affordable package. Mm. Invite me on that one, I was fine, it's fair enough. The E1, the only reason is speed, because I haven't seen it in person yet, and I have no idea what passenger flight's going to be like. So that's very much a kind of like, that could turn into an A if it turns out to be really lovely. Mm. Yeah, no, well said. I don't really, unless anyone else wants to speak to that. Um, I do think it's the C1's where it's at. Um, and I think kind of Space Tomato even kind of says the same. I'm looking at what he's done there. Um, some of the, the... Well, my, frustra- my frustration with Crusader is the endless tunnel. <laughs> oh, I was waiting yeah. for the lore reference, but <laughs> it didn't come. But all right, that's cool. Um, I mean, we, we don't me, get him me started. And, me don't and, shut him up. Me and, all I'll just say is that the me and Algrid don't mm. like like uh, like like the way that Crusader has moved. But I, in defense of CIG, they've at least kept it consistent that Crusader has slowly moved to being more militaristic from being a pacifistic religious based. Uh, yeah. Although, company. right, the company Although, that transports things, like what death? Although in their law, <laughs> even in the latest law, Paul, the latest law still has them giving most of their profits to um, support humanitarian efforts. Yeah. And the question they have is, will they be able to transform into something else? I, want and to I see... think what we're seeing oh. is not necessarily they're moving, but we're actually seeing the transition happening. Yeah, I, I want to see that, a meme. It's a, neat, it's a neat story. I want to see a meme of them like giving money to one person with one hand, and with the other hand, they're reaching into their pocket and taking money out. So well, it's no, <laughs> it's, the meme, the meme, the meme would be the Crusader is is delivering food, and then they mm-hmm. get up to space, and they're like, begin the bombing run. Yep. Um, yeah. on the same people they just gave all the food to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. Let's nuke it from orbit. Well, back to the Stone Age. Yeah. Right. Um, you know. <laughs> we've only probably got about five promise. minutes. Probably only got about five minutes left. So the Aries are really expensive. I think this is hasn't found its place yet, though. So uh, anyone else wants to be on the Aries? It should have been a should have been a Kruger. It should have been a Kruger ship. Yeah, it I should have been a Kruger. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. Actually, yeah. yeah. Um, MSR. God, this thing has dropped for me. And call. It. Um, I'm gonna have to probably go B. No, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a bit of an ass and go C. Um, it just once you see it's on stilts, you cannot unsee it. It, it, like yeah, half it, the ship it, is just vents. It is just. It's poorly yeah. designed, but its role is still viable. It, but it needs an entire interior, like the Reclaimer. It needs an entire interior. It, it, it yes. literally it was the it. spirit, and it grew so yeah. much in size, it became a large ship. Like that. Like that's how much bloat it's got. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, Paul's, you're probably gonna have to leave real soon. You got 13 minutes to your stuff, but we do. We yeah, are down to the last I, few. I can push it a little bit. I can push it a little bit longer. All right, three thirty is when I start. So, all right, so let's, it's let's like, be right, boys. We've only got the aliens and origin to go. So we, we, we yeah, we, we've done most right. of it. We've done well. We've made and the time. small ones, Argo yeah. and stuff like that. All right, so, three yeah. three hundred series down the left on origin. Let's go. Um, D. That's definitely where it's at. Yeah, I'm gonna give that. That. Uh, that's. And yeah, I don't like racing, so you can hate me for that in advance. That's fine. Right, I've gone straight down the left. All right. Uh, A A A D. Okay, I hate the three twenty five A because it doesn't do what it should do, which is it's a combat ship. It just gets slaughtered. Anyone right else want to add to that? Yeah, it might change in the future though. Yeah, absolutely. I think it. I- it's 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 up there with the uh mako that it's eventually going to mm. i think it'll eventually become a uh a good long-range escort fighter but it's yes mm. 
because it's right now it's a mini a mini vanguard it has yep. that that big big gigantic gun on the front it just mm. needs to it needs master modes to, to help it work so yeah uh best smuggling ship in the game really good right now 315 that is where the 300 is at yeah we can all agree on that yep. oh yeah yep okay. yep best it's the it's one of the best ships in the game hands down that everyone sleeps on so yep. <laughs> the only problem is the fixed um tractor beam hopefully they fix it down yeah um because it can't load itself and that's a real detrimental loss to it uh 300 is meh and the yeah. Yeah, meh. uh 85x uh yes yeah, everyone's got low scores on that so that kind of tells you so, so, the, so the scores actually do the speaking yeah yeah if you if you look at the scores you don't really need to see much um m50 god everyone's got c's god i, I think you're being generous i'm gonna go with d uh just just doesn't do enough for its price um i'm gonna go the same on 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 the 100i why do they oh exist? my lord why do they exist they didn't need they to exist out of here, dude. Get out. origin needs a starter ship that's why they need to exist <laughs> uh, okay, i'll be nice i'll be nice no no, no I'm oh, you, got, well, you got basically the the that you've got the m50 and the 85x that should have been the starter ships yeah, yeah they should have been yeah. give, give the 85x a, a cargo bay or give it some uh, jump, jump but i mean like that or it does have you've one. got what six six seu of cargo on the 135 yeah. yeah oh it's great it's just it's just priced like gar garbage yeah, oh like, yeah yeah we'll give them price yeah but but, but i mean but you've got a bed in there but considering but considering, you've got a bed and a refinery system but you've got the avenger for five dollars more and it does all the extra guns and does everything you just mentioned but the 100 series has infinite range oh god i was waiting for you to say but does it have a coffee maker that was one of the <laughs> <laughs> There's also some looks to it too. I mean, yeah, this true. is the it's difference between an Avenger, a 100 series, and a Cutter. Yeah. But and, and the 100 is also smaller than the Avenger because yeah. uh, one, one of the things you have to realize in combat is called you know, your cross section. It's called mm -hmm. pancaking. When you when you have that pancake, when you mm -hmm. when you show your 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 front side where you're getting the perfect shot on something, if that full if it's if it's super thin like the 100 is, it's hard to hit. Yeah. Um. But if it's fat like the like the Avenger is, mm. it, you, it's got a much broader cross section you can hit. So yep. it, it becomes that means that this is more survivable, which can give it's you the some. Same argument we put forward yeah. for Vertalia. Yeah. Uh, yeah, front cross cross section. It's hard to see. You, you want to be able to have a variety of taste too. So like, even though I might hate it, that's totally fine, right? Because then yeah. they, someone fine. else will like it, like what um, Space always says. Um, no, you're wrong. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the G12. <laughs> um g12 i think this has got to be a bit more proven um because mm. like it just loses so much from the ursa and the ursa is kind of already so this is just i don't know i'll still say that but yeah. you you, you <laughs> say why does the 100 exist my question is why does the g12 exist why do like the g12 exist? is supposed to be is it does it have less storage than the ursa mm. yeah yep uh. I it's thought it was supposed to be a more Ursa. versatile Ursa. It's slightly shorter than an Ursa, has less crew than an Ursa, mm. has okay. less cargo than an Ursa. Why does it exist? It's a piece of rubbish. Uh, it's supposed to be the, the hybrid between the Ursa and the, um, the Cyclone. Cyclone, yeah. So. All right, 890 jump. Um, anyone it's great. Some... Yeah, Agra really likes it. I love it. Solidly B. I like it. It's a nice transition. Mm. It's got that nice uh luxury section worker section it's got lots of crew mm. space um it shows that the thing is coming in terms mm. of gameplay uh just because of the size of the kitchen it tells you that gives you hints of professions mm. it's got a bar it's got a restaurant mm. Look, um i'm gonna let limited in, that, in those areas as well. yeah loken you can speak for me and yourself because i know you and are on a yeah i um i like what the 890 jump represents in terms of the gameplay i think that the current implementation is flawed i do not like the current design layout i think it needs to be make a hell of a lot better use of its current space absolutely and i hold out hope of the, i hold out hope of potential variants in the future i could see this being a hospital for example mm -hmm. you know? Banner Merchantman, have you ever watched the video me and Agra did on the Banner Merchantman about how we think it came from one of the variants of the 890 Jump? Uh, I haven't watched the specific one, but if you've mentioned it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah interesting. Uh, Lemming, you just, I'm very surprised you marked this down. Is this for the same reasons Logan just mentioned, Lemming? Uh, oh, what, the 890? Yeah. Yeah, it, people always talk about the 600 is using space poorly. I think the 890 uses sports, space yeah. far worse than the 600 ever could. Absolutely. Yeah. It feels like they built it from the ground up and then the, the atrium was full when they got there and the atrium didn't have the space it needed. Yep. 
Yeah. All right. We'll move on. 600i. Um, all right. I've got to ask Lemming, are, is this on the rework? Is that why this is getting such a high score? I, I, I love absolutely everything about this ship, and I love it even more after the rework. Uh, yeah. rework. It's, my, it's my favorite ship of the game. It is. It is the. I, I'm, I'm with Lemming with the S. It's, it is a combat ship when you want it to be a combat ship, a cargo mm -hmm. ship when you want it to be a cargo ship, uh, mm -hmm. a, a luxury ship when you want it to be a luxury ship. It is everything. Mm -hmm. I, oh, yeah. so. I'm on the opposite side. I think it's a cop out. I think they had to give it a whole heap of shit because it was lackluster as shit. Um, like the, from, the, the from day carried, one, yeah. it was called the Orca. That's that's my argument. From the mm -hmm. day one, PvP players were calling it the Orca or the Killer Whale because yeah. it was so big, but it just destroys anything I, it comes it comes across. I so. will I'll probably change my score when the rework is done, and and again I'll I'll do it then. But right now I I, I just think this is so oversized and overpriced. Like it is, a, <laughs> you notice this across the board with most of the Origin ships, right? Same with the four hundred I, right? They're they're essentially a class above where they should be. So the 400i is really medium features in a large ship, but you get this real tanky, defensible ship. It's the same thing here. It's the largest of those ships, but it's lackluster in what it does. But that's what you're paying for. You're paying for um, defense. You're paying for, you know, staying alive, essentially. You know, you're getting better components and, and things like that. Um, I just think it's overkill. You know what I, mean? I do want to mention that well, my I want to the cargo variant. Hang on. But uh, Algrid let Loken finish. He started first. I just want to say I do mention that the uh, my six hundred dice score is dependent on the exploration, not the touring. I don't like the touring. Yeah. I like yeah. the exploration. All right, Algrid. Saying so I want to see the cargo variant. Yeah, true. Um, the ugly duckling, the four hundred i. Oh, how dare you! It's beautiful. It's, it's a super yacht. If you actually think about uh, what I just said, the ugly duckling. I just called it a swan. A swan. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I suppose so. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but, 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 so how does, yeah. It's the glamping ship. How does it so, compare to the um, Aquila? Because it looks like scores are higher. It's really a medium. That's the thing. Like if you look at what it does, it, it it's a medium. But it's real one unique feature that's got over everything that won't last is the climate controlled cargo. But again, it's a medium ship that can, can't go into medium pads. That That's what sucks about it. It's also its interior. Yeah. It has a good interior. Really nice. the, 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 interior. The, the, the Keyless interior is garbage right now. Mm -hmm. It's because it, it's just a, it's just a Connie. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, so the 400i, um, I, I really want it to have variants because it's using the naming scheme. Like it should, it should either be a, a modular or B, it should have variants. So I want one of those two things to happen. And they already said that it's not modular. So I, I think you might find you may get some variants of origin ships along the way because the one of the things we found out from that San Tokyo um design image is origin is halfway between high design and commerce. There is no commerce ship from these guys yet. None. So once they start coming in, maybe you will get your variants or or adjacent. I mean, so yeah, I, I think I think Origin. I don't. It's the only manufacturer I don't own a ship for, but I want to own one, and I think eventually it'll be a shop ship that I own. Uh, so we'll see. Um, what do we feel like next? Let's knock out the vehicles. Yep, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Oh god, the storm. Shit. Um, it I, was my one of my favorite manufacturers until the storm came out. <laughs> I, I, I think the mm -hmm. yeah. I, I don't want to put an F. But I don't want to. Get I'm it. putting an F on it. Yeah, um, I'm putting a fucking F on it. Fuck that thing. <laughs> I do. I am was surprised just, by the AA though. The I thought the AA was going to be absolutely atrocious, and yes, they are both atrocious. But the AA is better than the Storm. Um, I'm just going to put a C on the entire category of Tumbrel. <laughs> yeah, I could probably well, do that. What they are. Yeah. Um, I think the Ranger could be kind of fun though, um, and I mean fun. I don't mean functional. I mean fun. Oh, it's absolutely. That's why it's S tier. It's because it's yeah. just, it's pure aesthetics. Yeah, pure for me. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll agree with Loken on a B. I, I can give him a B's across the board. I'm actually surprising, how, getting like remembering how much Loken and I kind of agree eye to eye. We have a lot of similarities. Yeah. Things, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's kind of kind of shows you that um, between everyone. And then there's things we disagree on, but that that's for. Oh yeah. It shows that we are different as well, which is kind of cool. Um. Cyclone. Tomat, oh, God, what, I what, what is your thoughts on the? What do you? What do you have such thoughts on the uh, cyclones? Who? Tomat. Tomat. Hold on, I'm there. trying to 
C's and D's. Just decide if this is going to be a B or a D. Cyclone RN. The the recon variant, the one that, that the, gets, yeah. gets the, re, the recon the recon's probably the best one. Speeding yeah, around like trying to find shit where all the others are just like mixes yeah, of but each other. We don't other. know how it's going to function because like, like the way it had before is like had some sort of like probe launcher where so we'd think be able to like so, drop those so, those like planes. Or so, something. so 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 think about a fast scouting vehicle when you're trying to find bases and you're trying not to uh -huh. be detected. That's how you're gonna do it. You're gonna drop this thing you know, 50 clicks out, it's going to drive around, find where everything is, come back, and then, then the entire fleet's going to go in and just wipe shit out. And, and the only other thing that's kind of in its league to do that would be like a Razor, what is it, EX or whatever, that can do the scanning mm -hmm. and shit. Uh, I just realized, did we miss the Razor? I don't remember putting points on the Razors. They're Mirai. Oh, they're Mirai. We haven't done that yet. Oh, I was going to say, I was um, like, have you forgotten something, Mr. Group? No, but he has not. Um... Right. Uh, we missed anything? No? I think we can move on. Where, where, where are we going? All right. We've gone over to Kruger. Oh, God. I really want more Kruger ships. I, I don't disagree with you boys on this at all. Um, yeah, I think I've got to go see. I really can't agree with Space Tomorrow on that. Kruger, um, the company might ask for everything. Hmm. Decided to show that they had the ability to make ships. Mm. They show their two concept ships, and the very next ship that's built around a weapon is not Kruger. Mm. That's insane. That's stupid. All right, we'll just go top down, left to right. So we'll go to the banner next. Um, S tier, I don't... Th this is what I essentially would have wanted the 890 jump to be. Um, and I think they beat... Imagine it luxury? Is that... Does anyone else disagree with yeah. that statement? They do Trumpian luxury. Yeah. All right, space. Tell, tell me why you hate the Merchantman. But what? Why? Why? Why you disagree? I hate it. I gave it a minute. <laughs> well, why, why you absolutely despise yeah, the Merchantman? Yeah. Why, why, <laughs> why you do this to us? Why you do this to Al, us? Al, why? Why do you also hate it? Yeah. Why? Why? Why are you? I why are you both? Me too, Brute. Because I gave it the same rating I gave an eight ninety. Oh, fair <laughs> enough. No, I can't argue with that. That that's. I would say of all the ships in the entire game, this is the one. That so. this and the privateer are the ones that I need to be convinced the most of. You know, I actually uh, picked up a privateer upgrade recently, space. So I'm I'm in the complete opposite. I think the economic for that is where it's going to be. But we'll. No, I I, I, yeah. I believe the ships make sense. It's the gameplay that mm. like having players and NPCs alike dock with your ship and come on board to negotiate with you and buy and sell stuff is a lot, in my opinion. I'm just making that is that obvious enough for anyone yeah okay cool yeah cool. there we go yep. <laughs> don't do Listen, anything I, I, will, garbage. I will not i will not sit here and tell you have you have you slandered the ptv i want the utv give me the utv tomorrow and that score goes up right i i yeah, really look forward to that thing but these things the are garbage. ptv is the first vehicle you ever had in, in star citizen and you're uh, calling it bad how like, dare you sir uh, how oh, dare oh, you i'll give it how a dare I'll give you it a, i'll give it give, a c give me a rework and it goes up to an yeah, a yeah simple yeah. as that i'll give it a c there you go just <laughs> yeah i'll give you that no, no, the, the the rock makes sense for right mining people the the rock ds is just confusing I was gonna uh, do, confused screeches i was gonna do you know what last. do you know why the rock ds exists mm -hmm. cig usually mimics whatever the development was in game in reality with the with the lore so when they came out with the lore for the rock it it it, it signals that what's happened was that cig mm -hmm. wanted to get the ds out for a specific time but they ran out of time mm -hmm. so instead they just cut down and made the rock because it was easier because they couldn't get the multi the multi like the two person mm -hmm. stuff working and so then afterwards they came back and made the rock ds mm -hmm. after they'd already made it superfluous all right <laughs> Solian, um i think that's a really great starter for what it is but it's really combat focused that that's its only drawback it's kind of like one step beyond combat of the avenger um and it's a bit difficult to fly initially initially then it becomes no problem um um well, what knocks it down from a B to a C to me is the external cargo. Yeah, yep. Again, it's a it's a one step away from, you know, it's a drawback. You're giving up things to get the combat. Um, Rayleigh, and I am really looking, like, I really like the look of good alien ships. I'm not going to kind of lie on that front. So that does pump scores up for me a little bit. Um, I'm just really concerned about the pods. 
I don't know about anyone else, uh, how they work. Yeah. Both the pods yeah. on the Raelian are still internal in a sense. Yeah, it's just because that, the, it's just that they're, not the, the, uh, they're, shape, they're, they're not to the same metric, so you're basically, like, there's an unknown so, there. There is an unknown, but mm. the pod themselves are actually a shell, which for cargo goes in, mm. unlike the Cillian where you put your cargo attached to the the thing but my concern with the rallying is it's just it's just new we don't know and, it, and that's why it's a c for me yeah i uh, mean Paul, uh, in, oh, yeah go ahead Lemon. i mean in two months we're going to have to manually load our ships this is true. Um, and we have literally no idea how the railing is going to be loaded we are in a transition period i think lemon kind of just covered that right there all right apollo and, and these scores will change. Like, if we did this in two months' time, I, I have no doubt a lot of these scores on these ships are going to change. That's why we do this oh, yearly. Yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. Um, not big fan of their fighters, I'm going to be honest. Um, they Pope? look hella cool. Uh, a power. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, the Centric guy is pretty cool um, in terms of its, like, aesthetic. I love and the do. Yeah, um, it's fun to fly and it's uh, decently potent in combat, so it's a bit big for a medium flight, but other than that, it's, just, yeah. you know. Um, Vandal, I think we're all waiting for the rework, yeah? V6 will look beastly yeah. as hell with the rework, but right now, again, you, you cannot, like, if, if anyone can tell me they can justify the price, I would say they need uh, mental health. I, should, I probably shouldn't say mm -hmm. that, but you know what I mean? Like, like you cannot, yeah. like, three, this thing costs us, like, $350. That's insane. What you're getting. They are extremely expensive, yeah. Yeah, it's it's but bananas. <laughs> it's an endeavor. Yeah, that, yeah, that's in a nutshell. You know that that that's, this is the opposite of the endeavor in every way. Yeah, that's a really good point, Lemmy. Yeah. Uh Prowler looks cool as fuck, but man, it's overpriced so badly. Overpriced. Aesthetics can take it a long way, though. Yeah, that's, that's why the... it gets to see. That's why it gets to see. Um. Uh, talons, jeez. Um. I think these will go up in cool factor when they connect, like the back tail things animate properly and stuff. But um, yeah, I'll get good. A stiff breeze will blow it up. Um, yeah. But it's a proper light fighter. Yeah. I just it's wish it breeze, had a, a stiff, I breeze, wish it had... Blow, a stiff mm. breeze will blow it up. It's a, it's a proper light fighter. Okay. So it, it should. It should, it's supposed to also have a scream when it dives, mm. and it doesn't. So it's like... So this is technically yeah. the only mistake I've seen Grim do here. So technically, this this glaive is actually a spear. Yeah. So technically. technically... Yeah, technically, because the sides are all, like, but, captured, no, so yeah. No, the actual scythe, though, was yeah, actually made by the... My, no, 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 it's... My, yeah, yeah, but it's actual Vandal. So this technically yeah. is the only... If you're watching this, Grim, that's the only mistake you've made all day. So you've done very, very well. Um, which is really good. But yeah, that probably needs to be redone at some point. Anyway, uh, anyone else want to speak to the blade or want to give us? I just think it's basically a gladius in a in a in a alien frog. Yeah, no problem. So gladius beats the blade in the um up gunning of humans against Vandul. Mm. The blade is was already outgunned by the by the gladius when it came out. It was a piece mm. of beep. Okay, the mole. I think it gets a C for Cruncy. That's that's what. It, <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching this Cruncy, I'm not giving you too much shit. But yeah, um, it's middle of the road now because the Arasta and you know the Orion, uh, the Orion and things like that. But um, he loves that thing. So yeah, I'll give you a C for Cruncy. It's good. Yeah, it's good for what it is currently. Like the Arasta's not in, but you know. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. Hey, that's such a high. I'm gonna go. Sorry, I have to go a little lower. I think it's only a B. Um, for the first <laughs> Can I justify my A? Yeah, go nuts. Yes, sir, so when it takes a week for your ship to claim, people are going to be sending SRVs out to to tow back their broken down ships. By the yeah. same token, you can use a crucible of the same thing. So that that's you know what I mean? Like uh, yeah. Yeah, but the, S I, but the SRVs are the smaller and cheaper. This is true. Yeah. It's got it's, it's an earning game. Like like hundred percent we can all agree that is an earning game and it would be literally S tier in my book, right? But yeah. from a price factor of, what is it, 150, 155 or something like that? No, 165. Well, that makes it even worse. But you get my whole point, right? It's, yep. it's harder to justify. 
All right. Uh, the raft. God, I think I think we can all agree this is time hasn't come. When when this thing actually finally um, expands and and you use it to transfer cargo, it's going to go way up. Like it's going to be like it's almost uh like how the crucibles required for a capital ship. This is going to be a requirement for a whole series ship, like for a C D and E. Like you're going to want to mm -hmm. have one at every port to help you speed up unloading. Um, or now I think I have to play the C game. Um, oh wow. Uh, remind me not to put Paul and Lemming in a room. It's going to end badly. Um, woof. Um, yeah, no, if, if that was, we, he already insulted the Orange King. So <laughs> that's, that's, it's okay. It's okay. When, 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 when next time he, we sees him, he, he will, uh, we'll, we'll ask him what his last words are before oh, we wow. execute him wow. for, wow. for, uh, execute him for, for, for treason against the crown. I think he's going to see you coming um, in bright orange though. Like he jumps here. <laughs> yeah. Now, hopefully you can outrun it because we've got modularity. Um, <laughs> it, it is a great little ship, right? As a snub, like we, we, we have reviewed this thing because that's what we do, but um, it is a great little ship, but it's only the attractor for me is the fact that it is a snub. And I think I kind of have to agree with, I'm somewhere between an A and a B. I'm, I'm kind of mm -hmm. in that, in that ballpark. I think, the, so, yeah. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the difference, right? So for me, the, this will get an A and this will get a B. Um, and I think it's the same thing though. They are, but I think you're probably going to get more use out of the cargo one than you cargo. are out of the personnel one. Oh, yeah. um, but you, you, thinking about the ships, it's going to be utilized on, and that's the. Oh, so I'm, again, I'm breaking the difference. Can I, can I, can I defend the king here for a moment? Can I? Uh, no, no, uh, no, you can't. No, I'm good. <laughs> good. Uh, so the MPUV is the best small utility ship you will ever own because mm. it is modular, yeah. and because you can swap out those modules and they can do infinite numbers of modules for it. And because it fits in pretty much everything, it is if you have a ship that is large or larger, like a large class or a little bit bigger, it will fit. I think it can almost fit in a Carrick, can't it? The 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 MPV. I don't think it fully oh, yeah. fits because it's a little too tall. I think but, you can. I, yeah, mm. I'm not entirely sure. I have to check. But you know that that the ability to be modular like it is will make it so that it's a Swiss Army knife. So you and everyone wants a Swiss Army knife because they're they're utilitarian. You can use mm. them anywhere. Mm. And as as the game develops further, the MPUV will be that one of those things you'll just see. Like people go, oh, well, I need to do this, mm. and I, but I've got you know my uh, galaxy. Oh well, you have the MPUV in the back. Just. Chuck, chuck that in the, uh, you know, we'll chuck the module on for like the salvager or the, the mining attachment or the personnel attachment or whatever, and it'll do what it needs to do. All right, Paul, so. before you got to nick off to go to your captain's table, do you want to tell people where they can find you on the internet? Twitch.tv slash the Astropub, YouTube.com slash the Astropub Live. And if you'd like lore for Star Citizen and other science fiction universes, check me out at YouTube.com slash the Astro Historian. Um, same thing for you, Loken? You want to let people know? Uh, you find about? me at twitch.tv forward slash Logan plays and uh, youtube.com forward slash Logan plays as well. Yeah. Been playing a lot of different games lately. Uh, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Helldivers, but uh, fundamentally, I'm all about sci fi, love Star Citizen, mm -hmm. support the project for years. So. I, I was going to say, you and I both both just spent yeah, eight hours playing, do it, doing data runs for uh, the event. So. And that was <laughs> great. And I look forward to doing it next week too. <laughs> um, when, now, when you, you go, we've only got Mirai to do. Hmm. Oh shit, did we miss Mirai? Shit. I thought we'd done. Oh god, I thought we'd finished. No, we didn't. We didn't do it? Where is it? Oh, uh, I could I, I could be very quick. All right. Mirai. Oh, shit. All right, hang on. I gotta flick it back over. Ugh. I was getting ahead of myself. I thought we were done. Um, yeah. D D D. Um, make sure everything was on the right page. Uh D D D. D's nuts all across the the, the mirror. Yeah, there you go. Um, for, for me, they just they're snubs and races, and sorry, that just doesn't speak to me. Is there anyone that wants to? Rose at the X. Rose at the X because it is a snub, good sneaky scout as well. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll give that. A, I'll give that a C. All right, you, you convinced me. It's it's good. It's mm -hmm. it's a good combat ship. The X. It's it's mm -hmm. it's probably a weird outlier for it, but yeah. everything else is just the snub is just it's not worth the price in terms mm -hmm. of actual payment. But if you get them in game, they're great. So. Mr. T, you can no, you don't. can you um, tell us where people can find you on the internet? Yeah, um, 
Space Tomato, basically mm-hmm. on any platform. Uh, Space Tomato 2 on YouTube is where I put my podcasts and longer form stuff. It's always good to check out. And then, um, yeah, I'm on Twitch. I'm on YouTube, Twitter, and other things. Thank you very much. I uh, don't think I've missed any way. Lemming, by the way, if anyone that doesn't know who Lemming is, Lemming is uh, in front of his mod. We invited him along. If you don't like what he says, I don't care. He's here because <laughs> I, I told him to be here. Um, Algrid, anything you want to say before we? Uh, behind the scenes, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll do the like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Thank you for the, everyone that went that extra mile on Patreon. Is there anything you guys want to say? Thanks for coming. It was great hanging out with everyone. This is the only time we ever get to hang out together, so we kind of enjoy it. Um, anything you guys want to say? Uh, I, I want this. The I want people to give us their 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 top ten ships in mm. the comments. Yes. yes. You yeah, want? Geez. I want the top ten. Yeah. Top ten in comments and 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 justify a little blurb for each one <laughs> I, I and i think it's totally agree. like you just to show like we disagree with each other as well and agree with each other there is no right or wrong on this like every ship no will speak to that's why it's like everything, everything that space says is so like that's why we repeat what he says right there has to be things in this game that you hate for other people to like them that type of thing it, it's got it's got to be in every to appeal to the biggest range of people you've got to have that and so yeah that just tells me it's a better game especially when and all those little other things we mentioned like um different manufacturers having different styles over time periods just we are spoiled for choice in this game i don't think we uh, there's times i sit back and go geez you know like we really are kind of at a different level with this game and i, I hope you guys agree uh let us know in the comments oh, if yeah. you do and and, and you, you guys too space and Logan and all that i'm talking to you too but yeah is there anything else you want guys yeah. want to see in the comments space anything you want to say in the comments um what they what they rate how they rate the ships they like mm. everybody has a little bit of a different criteria they go by some people price some people gameplay some people looks like what's most important to you guys i want to hear for some races oh, because none of us here are really yeah, races true. i want to hear what you guys would say yeah um how you change our ratings as a result yeah is there an info <laughs> runner that you lean towards more in the comments i'd like to hear on that too like like has it shown you that there's a certain person that you kind of um agree with Agrid, anything you want to hear in the comments, mate? I don't know. Um, are there any ships in particular you dislike and why? Yeah, true. And if you disagree with someone, mm. what is it that you disagree with and why do you disagree with them? Mm. Uh, let... Remember, regardless of whatever you say, be respectful. Yeah, that's true. Yes. Yeah. No, no, no fighting, please. Lemming, is there anything uh, you want to hear from anyone? Um, I think hearing everybody's top 10 would be really interesting in the comments. Yeah, I don't disagree on that. So, yeah. All right. I hope you guys had a good time. This has almost been a two hour show. It is easily the longest one we've ever done. I, um, so, yeah, I've really got to let Paul get going. He's already 15 minutes late. So, all right, everyone say goodbye. Uh, we're going to head off now. So, bye. Bye-bye. 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 Right. See you, citizens. See you next time. Bye.